Hold. Hello? 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 It's oh, with Dandy time! Woo! Dandy! We're back! Woo -woo. Hi, gamers. Hey, everybody. I have all the dice that I We need. play D&D? &D? a good fucking point. Dice. Hold Sometimes. We do. Oh, shit. Dice. It's a new nice. year. Ah, there we go. It's new dawn. It's a new day. Yeah. <laughs> we need to stop new being the dice. Oh, we go. Oh, we're back, baby. Hey. Look at that. How do I look? look Terrible great. as always. Looks great. great. <laughs> as always. Belle, I'll Dude. literally come to your house and kill you. <laughs> oh, Please Duke, do. Duke, you're looking very submissive and breedable today. <laughs> uh, That's par for the course, though, okay? True. Oh, gamers, we're here. Oh. Hype train, dude? All aboard the Poggers Express, dude? I hate you. I hate this. I hate it. <laughs> I still stand by the fact that I want there to be an in canon airship name, the Poggers Express. The Poggers well, Express. It, it, it we already have. Now. It's out there. Well, that, we that's, already have that's a, a train that Jax is going to invent throughout the campaign yes. that goes everywhere we go. <laughs> we already have Yo, a Jax's cannon boy called Cog Champ. So like... maybe it'll be the Cog Yeah, Express. okay. Cogger's okay, Express. Laura. All right. Calm down, Laura. Gamers. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. How's everybody doing? First of all, I feel like we have, you know, we haven't been here all of us together for uh, for for a month. It's been a month. Oh, Thank God, break. dude. I haven't had to see y'all for a month. And uh, Work, basically I'm rough. Mentally, I'm good. Okay, well, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm the other way around. <laughs> Physically, I'm fine. Mentally, I'm broken. Uh, it's good my shift was all. awful, but I might be getting a promotion. Nice, my man. Oh, good shit. It's good to see you all. We're here. Welcome to Dungeon Select. If you're not familiar with what we do, we are a D&D campaign. Uh, currently on our second campaign. Uh, we stream every Sunday. And uh, we, we we returned from our from a month long hiatus. We had some content in the, during the holidays, though. We had Bell put up a series of videos on the YouTube, which were are all fucking phenomenal, and you should check out because they're fucking you great. Should. Bell, you, great. you nailed it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> other than that, like we've had one shots. Uh, Laura DM the one shot. Koiba DM the one shot. <laughs> And I hated both of them. So, uh, <laughs> that yeah, whacking. That just got, that just got they were both mocked terrible. in the one shot. They, like, they, they were great fun. Dutch doesn't want to be a player anymore after that. He really does Dude, not. no, okay, listen. <laughs> that, that, that quacking thing, whatever, but Natty throwing me into the fucking abyss, dude, that's... that's that is just called on. karma for you that's and Natty planning it to us in yeah, campaign sure. one, my dude. That's, I think the common denominator here is that you don't play D&D with Natty uh, if you value yeah. your character. <laughs> Hello. Did you launch a Ubisoft game perchance at any points? No. Is your mic is I thought your mic is speaking. Gotta complain about Ethan's mic again. <laughs> I, that's new, why I, new mic issues. We're hitting the bingo, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just on uh, the shit. It's good mic. to see y'all. Welcome, welcome back. I hope everybody had a had a wonderful holiday season. You know, Christmas, whatever the hell you celebrate, New Year, all that stuff. We're back and we're uh, we're we're picking things up again with uh, with the weekly D and D sessions and Dungeon Discourse and Divinity. It's all coming back starting this week. So um, hell yeah, hell yeah. Good to see everybody. I'm I'm happy to be back. I'm excited. I, I I'm, so excited. I'm, I'm so fucking ready, Mike dude. Check. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Um, before we get started, seems okay. Mike check. Mike check. Seems, seems, okay. yeah. seems good. Seems, seems good. good. Cool. Um, does anyone have anything they want to announce before we, yes. um, I'm pregnant. move forward? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the father, the mom! Piper. Uh, <laughs> before they start now. But, yeah, um, yeah, I have, any announcements? I have two I announcements. So, first of all, I, um, announced on my own stream a few days ago, but I am one of the newest, uh, ambassadors for Artesian Builds, which is a PC building company. Uh, you can get them to do whole PC builds, you can just get parts for them, they build all the PCs live on their Twitch channel, and, like, promote the stream of their building for while they do it, which is pretty cool. Ship everywhere and stuff, and it's perfect timing, because I said I'm getting a new PC this year, and now I can use my own discount code to do it, so. There you go. Hype. Awesome. And other thing, I literally just found out like 20 minutes before D and D started, and now I needed I need to mute my phone, otherwise it's gonna be going off all session. But uh, after my fourth time applying, I am one of the newest members of the stream team, SideQuest TV, which nice. is a really hey! big charity streaming team, and I'm super excited. So awesome. tomorrow's stream is gonna be hype as fuck. Dude. 
Hell yeah. Congrats Hell on yeah. that. Good shit. Good shit. That's awesome. Man, Laura really flexed on us at the, my phone's gonna be ringing off the hook, <laughs> alright? We don't all have friends, no. okay? Because now, it, now it's the mass follow train, because all the team has to follow, because they couldn't follow you before, because it would give away who they picked, and they have to wait till the announcement, and now all of a sudden it's all coming in. It's like, ah! We understand the logic. We're still gonna give you shit for it, though. Yep. Yeah, of course. So <laughs> when are you gonna be too cool to play d, &D with us, Laura? Uh, never, because D and D. As soon as they make a D and D campaign. <laughs> D &D. Oh, so it's not us. It's D and D. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> nice. Sometimes yeah. I fall for phishing scams just so my phone rings once in a while, you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, 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 get the notification. Of fucking like, phone scams. I, I had a missed call from a phone number from, uh, from oh. Albania today, and I'm like, I'm Whoa. hell yeah! Pretty That's sure you know any Albanian, Albanian gamers? So I'm, I'm good. You know, Dutch, I was trying to get money for my plane flight home, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> um, that's awesome, Laura. Congrats. Anyone else? Any announcements? Yo, I'm fucking. I'm moving soon. Woo! Woo! Oh, got a pad. Yo, but but also means in like a few weeks' time, I'm probably going to miss a session because I'll be fucking moving <laughs> and won't have internet. Sucks. I feel so you. so understandable. Like you so you've got set. like two weeks to kill off a Lazarin, and then he can come back as his new character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, just kill me off, and then um, I'll perfect time. Character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. Just make one of the yeah, weird I'm... spider web cult people find him. I'm and kill him, just gonna. And then... I'm gonna be uh, in a different place. This wall is spider gang. Different. Spider that is absolutely a possibility, and that's what terrifies me. It's gonna be fine. But yeah, that's awesome, Quips. Congrats, dude. My, my boy's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, when you just see me, I'm just like this haggard mess of like, I don't know how to handle anymore. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have to send him like basics, like cut the rent? Is what is this? Yeah. Well, guys, no one's gonna bring Koiba full roast dinners during D&D anymore. Oh, Man's no gonna have to make it. his own food. <laughs> that's the first thing I said. <laughs> no, we just need him to speed run getting evicted, which I think, yeah. you know, yeah. Koiba could land a world record, so. Can we, can we bring your dad without your dad's nipples? Can we get your dad a spare key just so that, like oh, yeah. one day he can surprise you. D &D, he can walk in no. shirtless. No! 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 That's awesome. I hate it. I hate it. It's nightmare. Do what? Do I have announcements? I don't think I do. Hey, do. do. You're I'm... epic poggers, man. Damn. Oh yeah, am I? Cool, yeah. thanks, man. <laughs> No, um, and sexiest duck streamer here, 2021, me, bro. Be, play, like, you know, being back in the DM chair and, and getting this campaign going because there's a lot of shit happening. And I like all... to think that you sit in a different chair yeah. in regular life, but you pull and up. And then you have a DM chair. Yeah, that's, that's my, <laughs> you just push a cushion. That, that's my lazy. Like, <laughs> honestly, I just want to swap them around. That chair is fucking. It's very comfy. It's... Big leather fucking chair, but it's very low, and I'll probably fall asleep because it's super comfy. Um. <laughs> Just mid DMing, just <laughs> mid sentence, yeah, just pretty much. Out. <laughs> um, so I think since uh, there, it's been about a uh, month since we uh, last did this. Focus. I'll uh, you're a little out of focus, yeah. I'll Hello? start off with uh, a little recap to get everybody back in uh, back into the swing of things. Last we left off. You traveled to the town of Streatham, um, together with uh, Sai, an Air Ganassi uh, ranger, uh, under the employ of General Kron to figure out what the deal is with this group of people setting farms, setting complete villages on fire for and, and, and try to put a stop to them. Uh, this led to a, a pretty lengthy investigation in Streatham, uh, figuring out that uh, they were operating from a lair under the city, which was uh, accessible through the magic shop in that town um, <clears throat> called the Tenth Ring, uh, of which the owner was also involved. Um, Brooks, in the process, got stabbed with uh, a particularly potent poison, but like at the end of the day, oh you God. vanquished the evil, Brooks survived, and uh, happy days. Davian, in the process, acquired his uh, second Tear of Kosuth, which means there's only one left, and learned that the final one is lurking in Lake Udina somewhere. Um, there used to be a big volcano, um, which got completely just sank underground, uh, underwater, and is now being protected uh, by a community of Triton, who work for slash worship the elemental lord of water named Estesha. 
Uh, and you've learned that Astitia and Kosuth don't really get along necessarily. Um, but yeah, you are on the way back to Eldilon to uh, fetch payment and prepare for the journey that is uh, that is to come. Jax did his uh, did his little little map trick, and when we left off, it was the morning, and there's about half a day worth of travel left towards Eldilon. So, you all wake up from your sleep. What do you do? Start your day. <coughs> Bless you. I guess it's time to head on down. Uh, whatever the you said we have a half happen. day left? Yeah, about a half, half day. Half day left of travel to Eldalon, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Check him. Smell of the morning, you horrible lot. All right. I can't, I can't wait to get dinner and have a nice fucking bed again. I quite like it out here, to be fair. Say, this sometimes is quite nice. It's quite nice. To sit Sorry, outside. that came across as really, yeah. Uh, abrupt. Well, and you know. What, like anything um, you say is not abrupt? Shut the fuck up for a minute. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna, Daddy. I wanna point to a Lazarin and like mime being, being itchy and then do like a, a thumbs up, uh, thumbs down. Uh, I'll just look at Daniel like, don't, don't worry, I made sure there was no ants there. Just cut some lads in the night before be like, fuck off, sacred thing. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just like clearing out his area. <laughs> Sleeping on like this bed of, of like burnt up grass. Yeah. yeah. It makes it warmer for the evening, you know, just gives you a nice little mm. warm, warm base. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good as he starts like itch slightly like, because I'm pretty sure there's probably still some in the sleeping bag. So he's just like a little like... <laughs> Small itch. <laughs> small itch. <laughs> yeah, the small, just small. Like, I will. I'm just gonna open up a pack of fucking rations and eat. Start just. Like, num, 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 num. Oh yeah. Good Same. Call. Eat some rations. <clears throat> Food. Already. You need to take off. Is it two days rations now? Or did no, because we, we did it yesterday. We did, did it yesterday. Last we table. Uh, yeah. I okay, did. Okay. Try to take off too. Oh yeah. True. Sure. Fucking here. <laughs> oh, my own. Okay. Eggs. How many rations still? I have like nine left. Let me see. I have eleven now left. I have so many. Yeah, I, I like think my rations are like dried powder eggs. You know, <laughs> it's astronaut food. Yeah, Jack's and, back and, in like proper MREs compared to you guys. And, <laughs> and like instead hey, of regular water, and meatloaf. Okay, got, like the flameless instead ration eater and everything. And he, instead of water, he has like thicket in his water skin because he has to he has to thicken all his liquids for him to be able to actually swallow. No, it's just, oh. it, it's just like some alcohol from Jack from a. Uh, <laughs> fucking Brooks's bag. Say, to be honest, stolen. I'm surprised that Jax doesn't look consist on a diet purely of Werther's and green juice. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's That's... only like cleanse days, okay? <laughs> when you do your juice cleanse. When you can tell him up, can't out, you? And his dentures, <laughs> he, there's no dentist to fix his dentures, so he has just two weeks of mash. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't suppose my... Uh... Gold in, uh, grill. <laughs> 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 oh, this has devolved so quickly. Yep. Um, been a while. You think it has been a Good month? Good to be it's back. What did, you, uh, what did you say, Duke? I don't suppose my eyes are uh, still, still orange. orange again. Uh, no, it's for now they're thing. they're normal. Okay. Interesting. All right then. <clears throat> Shall we um, hit the road as soon as possible, or is there something else you guys need to do here? Mm, I mean, there's nothing here, is there? Really? Exactly, that's no, what I'm saying. Should we go? Not by the road. <laughs> we should maybe perhaps talk along the way, but you know. About what? Well, th there's something I should probably tell you guys about. Oh, no. uh, uh, oh. Well, why don't why don't you do it now before we set off and we have to separate these two? Well, again, because it's more fun to do it while we're Kess on the trail. No. Uh. A Kess and Dying, how, how are Kess and Dying doing? Do they, are they together? Glaring. They... Glaring. <laughs> glaring. glaring. We're, we're not like making life any more difficult for anyone who need to be, but we're also pointedly not really interacting okay. with each other. Every now it's and like then Kess finds sulking. something aggressively at Daigon, and Daigon <laughs> looks extremely offended. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but the problem is that's hard to tell because I have resting bitch face anyway, yeah. so you don't really yeah. know. Uh, all you like know is I'm not really, I'm avoiding all eye back. contact with her and positioning I'm either like slightly angled away from her at all times, but I'm not like doing anything to bug her. Yikes! You're not making. You're not. You're not like, I... throwing away shit tea. 
No, I'm not making bad tea. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw it. Did I give <laughs> Brooks the whole coffee thing, or did I just give you a few? I think you gave me some. Uh, I gave you the whole like, thing, right? Three you gave cups me two portions. Coffee, you right? gave me two or three cups with the coffee, yeah. Yeah, I think I started the brewing kit, so I am actually going to take out the brewing kit and make some, or try and make some coffee. Can I assist you with this? Because it's technically not alcohol, but technically brewing. Yeah, sure. Gonna be a just, roll? Um, roll a d20 and add your intelligence modifier. Okay. Can okay. I do, do you, with I advantage? Because Brooks is with assistant. advantage? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, do you want me to roll or do you want to? 18. Advantage. You make really a pretty help. decent cup of coffee. Just just a, a black coffee. What are, what are we what are we talking here? Like, is it is it acidic? Is it sort of sweeter? Notes of whatever coffee tastes like. You're asking Dutch, the man who doesn't drink coffee. I'll uh, <laughs> resort to my resident barista to to flare uh, this up. I guess you know. <laughs> I mean, it's a it, it's a fairly new-ish thing, right? For at least for yeah, us. Yeah, and very exclusive. Like, it's not something it's that. The then average Joe without consumes. much experimentation so far that like the basic coffee we bought is probably going to be a little bitter. It's going to be much more of a hard roast because otherwise you're not going to be able to get the powder that you want with it. Um, is Agrin in the coffee belt? <laughs> um, I mean, if we if we've never done it before, there will be trial and error of things. So, Absolutely. Like, it's probably I'm pretty gonna watery. go out on a limb and say that this one probably has a really fucking shit grammar because we've yet to figure out the right consistency to grind it to. But it will taste fine. I will like your. Funny I was talking. Words, I was, magic I was talking to someone the other day. <laughs> uh, who just was just just I was like, okay. considering getting La Lorina or something, which is like low caffeine coffee. Oh, uh, I could only get it in beans, and I was like, oh, I might get a blade grinder. And they were like, don't get a blade grinder, and here's <laughs> why. And then there was like, there were graphs and charts and shit about the flavor of coffee and diagrams. Dude, I was. Would <laughs> Davian, right, man? <laughs> yeah. Davian's making uh, a black coffee. I'm assuming yes. that he's. We're making some sort of espresso and then adding hot water to it. I, I honestly. It's ground already, right? So I think yeah. we're just. It's like pour over. Okay, it is incredibly strong. It's like what, well, not like treacle, but like, like if you're if you're not water, if you're pouring it just straight through. Yeah, I mean that, well, that's how drip filters go. I would think it would be incredibly weak because you'd pour it through and it'd be done. Like one pour, and then you've just got kind of brown water. You'd probably you need to pour it like okay. slow, and you need to do Especially all of these different Especially because nuance. the coffee's new to all of you, so it's not like you yeah. also would be expert at the perfect steeping time or temperature. Or anything, well, no, but so this is what I mean. Be... But if it, if it's if it so if it's ground. And yeah, if you have grounds in a filter, through the, in a cup, the... it's going to be really weak, right? Because like drip filters mm. go really slow. Pour over coffee, you have to do like four different pours at different, mm. like you know. So if you just pour it through one and done, it's going to be like it's just going to be brown I mean, water. Espresso comes through fairly quick. It's just pressurized and tamped and. Yeah, do this we is even know just... to tamp it? Like, what the fuck does that mean? No, we have a filter Toxic. with coffee grounds in it that I'm pouring hot water through. It's weak. Uh, That's yeah. It's gonna be weak as shit. It's gonna be weak. It's gonna be gaps between. This is the next. What bowls. is a bowl discussion? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's absolutely good. no. The I'll, gang I'll makes that. coffee. It is I weak as shit happy. because the, because we've not. It's to become a milker. Oh, I love it. But <laughs> right. I love when Ethan goes off on a thing to be like, no, it's wrong. And it's just like, no, oh, like, you are right. Fuck's sake. It wasn't, it wasn't that <laughs> yes. I was, it was that I, Duke convinced me with yeah, good logic. Yeah, it was well, that Ethan we, was we hadn't properly so established the mechanics true. of the DD coffee no, brewing kit, but I imagine true. that in its simplest form, you're going to make some sort of just pour over coffee, right? Yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. Whereas I was imagining it's McDonald's like a, hot roast. You're thinking again, I'm pulling right? out a whole es espresso machine oh, with the milk No, no, there's a the specific goes... name for it. It's like a, a Eastern European style of coffee making. Turkish coffee. Where, yes. I was you thinking have a little like pot a little on a rod and machine. you like heat it directly on the stove. Mm, it's hot as Maybe fucking. you guys can ask Jack to make an espresso machine for you. There you go. Yeah. Espresso? An espresso Espresso. 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 <sighs> It's good to be back. All right, take <laughs> coffee. It's not great. Marked off a cup. Let's nice. get going. Let's I'm going to get go. the horses ready. Oh, I helped you and you only made one cup? Break. <laughs> 
Better one shit cup than two, all right? <laughs> Dude, I see my webcam focus going in and out, and yep. autofocus is off. So I don't know what's happening, it's but deal with it. It's Discord, because all of our cameras are doing it. Oh, it's, it's a quality thing. It's called junkie. Yeah. Discord. Mm -hmm. It's fine. So I get the cart ready, and the hosses, and... Uh... Nah, I'm not going to speak of animals. Fuck them. <laughs> okay. I forgot what they're called, even. Caramel. Caramel and pepper. And pepper. Yeah. pepper. Thank you. Damn, I forgot the horse's name. That's fucked up. It's been a while. It has been a it's while. It's been a while. We gotta get back into the, the swing of things. Um, okay, so you hop on the cart. Um, are Kess and Dagen both in the back, or is one of you going to be sitting next I'm to I'm just going to sit by Jax, wherever Jax sits, especially since he said he, he had a... I will purposely sit away from Kess about. so that they're not sitting next to each other. I'm, I'm assuming I've been banished to the front. <laughs> banished. <laughs> banished. You have banished. Bad. <laughs> okay, so you're, That's right. You're I forgot. Dabby, how you slept there with him? With, uh, last yeah. Time you, you hopped it was. I got banished yeah. to the front. <laughs> okay. Well, it's also banished. because it's harder it for me honor? to sit in the front because my spear with the size and it's diagonal the way it sits diagonally on my back. Like it would just be stabbing the driver in the head if I sat okay. in the front. So. Oh, okay. We'll okay. That. We take. We take those. Yeah. Two <laughs> problems solved so in one you spear. Hit the road. And a couple hours into your journey. The road, um, Wait, but wasn't Jax going to start talking? He, oh, he said he had to sorry. tell us something when we when we got moving. Yeah. You're right. My bad. I apologize. Gosh. Jax. Yeah. The coffee discussion took too long. <laughs> I forgot what we were doing. Yep. I honestly forgot I said anything. <laughs> well, there you go. You're welcome. Um, so, you know how Lazarin has people hunting him? Oh, God, no. Uh, do you have people I'm not necessarily you? being hunted. I just, I might be wanted. Oh, is this about the thing you told me? I don't know. I've told you a lot of things. You have told me a lot of things. You know how previously when I said, is anybody wanted by anybody? We should probably tell them now. You, know well, well, you never like, told us. I figured, well, I, I, I did tell you I was a pirate. And, you know. was yeah, a pirate. Wait, well, 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 have I told you? Am I having a senior moment? Yes, no, you you, 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 you <laughs> One have... Of you, you have talking. you have a law you have a lord to us that you yeah well I think you told someone and they told us and, uh, I did not tell been. anyone I do not share other people's secrets how dare you you just read other people's secrets yes I like I'm I'm like a hoarder but for <clears throat> knowledge that I'm not supposed to have and nothing actually useful just gossip. other people's gossip right it's but you don't useful. gossip you just no. hold it I just hold it it might be it no, might become it... useful later. Well, so I assume, what, I where the... are you wanted from, Jax? <laughs> oh, well, I would assume it's the, you know, the the fuck. What? <laughs> I'm blanking on their name. Where, where's the uh, fuck? The high seas protect us. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you mean the people that we've the Navy, been in the right. room with the fucking head off? Yeah, but Black Poor is well, really chill. I was like, I didn't think Jax he's then. I was the human version of me. True. Oh, I fucking... True. Don't like this shit at As all. As in, you were disguised, or you weren't always? Yeah, he was the big old yeah, man. Yeah. Was, okay. Yeah. Well, I know he's always a big old man, but this one wasn't blue. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? What did you do? If that's not asking too much. Oh, pillaged, killed, kidnapped. Oh, Typical pirate. Take shit. a pick. Um... Or did what was it? Electrum. Oh, I did have a great horde of Electrum on the ship. Yeah. Right. Ah, the good old days. Oh god, you're not one of those Electrum people, are you? You could get a horse and buggy for six Electrum. <laughs> but you could get the same thing for three gold! Fuck's a buggy. Um... Bloody Electrum. Don't get me started. Whoa. The people trying to shield that useless currency off. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair. <laughs> I got a DM from Quiver the other day. Oh, no. He was like... People that use Electrum in D and D games are the equivalent of what you know, Crypto Bros. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> this is, you are right. You are absolutely right. <sighs> yeah, it, it makes total sense as well that Jax is a Crypto Bro as well. <laughs> no, it doesn't, because old people would be like, Crypto is way too confusing. They'd be like, no, 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 he's a techie man. He's a tech exactly. startup yeah. guy who would be like, yeah, yeah. I'm an old man. I invest in everything. So <laughs> he, he's, the, he's the old man that tries to pretend he knows like all what all the kids are doing. I <laughs> just want like, 15 NFTs. NFTs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They cost me 5,000 Electrum, but I'm going to sell them for 8,000. <laughs> anyway, 
Yeah. Right. Jax was pirates. Um, Sorry. Uh, yes. Y- Jax- yes. So just, you know, I, I, I just let, thought I'd let you guys know. Did you know, did you know Black Pool? No. Oh. Right. That, that no, could who? have been useful. What? Blackpool. Okay. Captain Blackpool. Oh, right. Black, right. The... Blackpool. He was uh, a right. pirate before as well. Well, and I, and I just kind of go like this, gesturing in my, my well, persona, because he's another tabaxi. Wait, Make a history check. Checks. Oh. Make a history. <laughs> Make a history check. Make seven Jax. different checks. There you go. That was hard to say. Holy uh, fuck. Uh, check, uh, Jack. Uh, <laughs> checks, Jack. Check, Jack. Uh, history, that's plus seven. Sixteen. Um... Well, you know that he's in charge of the High Sea Protectors, and he's also, he used to be a pirate. Um, Captain Blackpaw, definitely a name um, that has more renown to you from his pirate's life than his High Sea Protector's life, but you do know him. And Didn't, like, know him personally, though, right? Not personally, like, just, but like, more like you just know his, his reputation. Oh, yeah. And his reputation, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, how does... How does someone... Personally. In your line of talents end up being a pirate? Or rather, how does a pirate end up being in your line of talents? I'm not really sure what came first. Uh, what, what do you mean? Like, you know, you make armor and little... Well, you're a pirate oh, well, before you're uh, old. Uh, when I was a young lad, uh, my parents you know, didn't really get along. So I uh, up and joined the Navy, uh, the High Seas Protectors. Um, I joined as a carpenter, right? Very honorable trade, make pretty good money. And then, uh, well, one day we were um, attacked, as you are, and um, my whole crew died, and they took me. So I became a pirate, just like that. Roughly, how long ago was this? Sounds fun. Oh, two hundred and I don't know. Something on years. You're still wanted to this day 200 years later. That is quite... Well, I wasn't yeah, wanted at the beginning, you know. For a while, they didn't know I was well, no, yeah. yeah, Elijah, you got under, he became a pirate. I, I had to work my way ago. up we don't from know when carpenter he to yeah. first mate. True. You were a if carpenter? He knows, if he knows Blackpool, then he can't have been yes. around. Yeah, he we must have been listening. a pirate for a long time. I was time. not listening, <laughs> to be honest. I was kind of daydreaming about what it would be like to be a pirate. <clears throat> Guess you'd die. I would not. You absolutely would. I feel like you'd get very. I feel, you wouldn't even die in, a, in like a cool way. You'd like get seasick and then like die of scurvy. I should go. Get she'd probably fall overboard after like trying to throw someone's tea. Dying no, was the not one to who mention that. Uh, Thank you very much. There are a lot of there are a lot of superstitions about having a woman on a ship. So I can always pretend to be you a man. And I can tell you, none of them are true. No, but it's a fairly common thing, like, among sailors. Whether it's true or not, it's irrelevant. It's... I thought they all, like, shagged narwhals or something. You'd have to ask Jax about that one. He's the one with the most experience, but... Oh, only one or two. You don't find them very often. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Jax. <laughs> Are you saying to us all now... <laughs> you have yeah, once or novel. twice in the last 200 years. <laughs> Imagine you'd have to do from behind to stop yourself no. getting impaled. Not necessarily. <laughs> Unless that's how you do it, you get impaled. So I mean... anyway, I am, might be wanted in multiple port cities. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's something we should keep an eye out for. I Jackson may be able to not. offer some temporary <laughs> pre- reprieve from that, actually, but... It's something that I'll need to do when we're not bouncing up and down in a fucking cart. Oh, are you going to create, like, some kind of diplomatic immunity thing? I might be able to draft something up that would work basically with everyone apart from Captain Blackplaw. Plaw? Blackplaw. Blackplaw. <laughs> Look, I, bounce. I would have been able to speak much better if I hadn't been drinking last night around the campfire and someone had given me a coffee this morning. But that didn't happen, so... You didn't want that coffee, trust me, it was <laughs> bad. Uh, I, I think at this point, if this hangover doesn't shift, I'm going to start eating the fucking coffee grounds, so. You should try tree sap. Great, I'll remember that next time we're not on a moving cart. It depends on the tree, hold on. 
I mean, you I can't know. go up and tap any old oak tree. The sap comes out thick, sticky. You can't really eat it. it tastes really bad. Not that I know, but uh, some <laughs> trees, some trees. Yeah, it you sounds get like a personal experience. But um... narwhals and tree sap. What an interesting group. Right, this is a very fucking weird conversation. Have you noticed any of our conversations being normal? Hmm. So, Kess, apparently you burned down a shed. I did. Yes. Yeah. How'd that I go? Did. Um, I mean, burning down the shed was mostly an accident. Mostly. mostly. It didn't sound like it. Well, okay. I mean, okay, there was this there was this guy, and he was really annoying. So, um. One day, I tried to trick him into thinking that the shed where we stored all the farming tools was a sauna by using <laughs> magic. So, but because you can't use a lucha magic to create like heat, or at least I couldn't, I had to put in like a brazier of hot coals to kind of make it hot. And then, as I was escaping and he was sitting down on a cactus, I knocked over the hot coals and the shed set on fire. What? He was si what? sitting on a cactus? Yeah, I put a cactus down. <laughs> what? It was really funny. Put a cactus I... down where? Oh, oh, I'm losing track of this whole thing. <laughs> you put coals in the shed. In in a brazier, but I knocked it over because I tripped over some rope. Was he in the shed? He was in the shed. That's where was... the cactus was. Yeah, and, and I'd put the cactus down on the seat I'd set up. So, so did you didn't burn down him cactus. down with the shed? No, he managed to like teleport out a little bit, kind of. And then the shed burnt down, and then I got forced to help make the new tools because I ruined all the tools and we couldn't do farming for a really long time. That seems What a strange impactful. life you've led. Yeah. Alright, Narwhal kisser. <laughs> <laughs> he never said he kissed them. Any, anything but. I would not kiss the Narwhal. That's showing too much affection. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, those two up front. Uh, can I get a perception check real quick? Yep. Can uh, can I roll for Onu as well? He'd be, he'd yeah, be sure. flying above. Dirty 20. Dirty 20? Uh... Yep. Oh, um, Onu is a... That's not a 1, that's a 7. So Onu is a 9. And I'm like, woo! 23. Onu doesn't see anything, um, but you two Vibers. see up ahead um, a tree is blocking the road. Like it seems that it, it fell over, and it's just like this this tree is lying on on the road, blocking your path. Okay. Uh, oh I, look, I, we can get some tree sap for books. No, stop! I'm immediately going to start on the horses, and I'm going to scan around bushes that people might be hiding in. Uh, make another perception check. Oh, seven. As far as you can tell, you can't hear or see anything. Oh, uh, there's a tree blocking the road. I, there might be an ambush. Just be on your be on your best. Uh, I almost said best behavior. No, be on the lookout. Stay vigilant. After, after Davian says that, because you said it might be an ambush, I'm gonna just try and sniff, smell the air, and do I smell any any humanoid presence that doesn't match our party members' normal sense? Uh, you can, Should but we before we do that, room? I'm quickly gonna change Discord regions to hopefully get rid of this fucking lag. Okay. You know. Uh, oh. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, Discord was just, Discord's right. being exceptionally bad today. Hey, at least it's not Canadian Discord. It was, it was like this for the one shot I did, too. We had to do this. Yeah, it was weird. real fucky. <clears throat> right. Yeah, perception check based on smell, you said? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, not mm. great. 11. You definitely smell something. Uh, but to you, it kind of comes across as like, yeah, you smell like... Like animal fur, almost so it could be anything. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna whistle, and so Onu sort of comes down, so he's only thirty feet above us, mm -hmm. and just sort of circling. Uh, cart's moving slow, like walking speed. I'm gonna okay. hop down and stay alongside the horses, but I'm gonna get my bow out and uh, I'm knock an arrow. Going to cast see invisibility. Okay. And I'm just gonna have a look out. See if I can... uh, you don't see anything invisible, or did, like nothing yeah. pops up suddenly. I think Pop's also cool. And I'll just kind of... Is Brooks awake? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, Brooks at this point is, like, not paying attention until you mention that there's a tree down. Hmm. Brooks, um, hop out. As you get what closer... Why am I the fucking scapegoat? Um, 
Through the tree, I think. Brooks, as you hop out, let's make a perception check for me. Oh. If you hop out, I mean, he seems pretty begrudging yeah. about it. I'm gonna hop out, but I'm gonna whine about it. That's gonna the most Brooks thing. A baby. <laughs> uh, at least I can whine around. about it. Oh. What am I making? A perception check. I don't do good on these. Thirteen. Thirteen? Plus one. <laughs> you listen, and you hear this, like, this, you hear this particular sound, a sound you recognize. The sound of an arrow flying in your direction. Uh! Um, okay. But because you hear it, you manage to just kind of hop out of the way, and, it, like, the arrow lands and into, the, into the side of the cart. And from the bushes and the nearby trees, ten... Creatures emerge. Cap Ten e equipped Gross. with 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 bows and 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 spears. Ah, for fuck's sake! Humanoid esque body, but with these with this thick fur and hyena heads. That all now, given my tickets. alert feet, hmm? given my alert feet, yes, <laughs> my inability to be surprised, mm -hmm. and the fact that I've already knocked an arrow in my bow, would I be able to just imp say? As soon as that arrow hit the cart, launch one back just in the vague direction, sure. like with disadvantage yeah. or something. Just yeah, roll a... with disadvantage. All right. How far away did you say? Oh, I rolled double seventeen, so that's like okay. 20, 25, 24. Yeah, All right. Just you, you feel free to pick whichever one. It's just one d eight plus three, so five points of piercing damage. Five points of piercing damage. Okay, hold on. Uh, mm, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. And they arrow. One of them is just immediately. <laughs> God damn it, every time there's like a second of downtime, my brain just starts playing the fucking me right. slash so you Wii menu music. Right, so look the back and just let an arrow fly and impact one of these creatures in the chest, and it just meets you with this, like, this, this, this yammerin, very dog-like, just this... Uh, as now emerging from, from the nearby, just ten of these creatures. Oh boy. Humanoid body, thick fur, hyena head, uh, I would like for you all to roll initiative. Uh, while I Oh scenes. god, that's garbage. Big Fuck. money, no well, whammies. I wanna do like something. That. So early. things things that we've oh learned. I only roll well when I'm the DM, not the player. Mm. This is what I've learned <laughs> in my time. I... And it sucks. So we'll say that uh, the cart is just just uh here, so everybody's still kind of, you know, vibing over here. Yeah. Cart's just off the <laughs> Oh, was a goose, side. by the way, because that's the only bird. That only okay. bird? <laughs> um, am I... Would I have we'll been able that, to we'll vision blessing uh, myself? Brooks and Davian are, like, here. Oh, like, God, that's a long guy. He looks like such an angry goose, too. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, Quaiba? Uh, uh, would I have been able to vigilant blessing myself? Shh, mm, we'll say that you took the time to do that when Davian was, like, maybe on the lookout yeah. or something. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah. Initiative time, boosh! Thank fuck. Good American dice, rolling pretty good. Yeah. Give me your French dice. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Don't say that blasphemy in here. We we want that me. Cause we got uh, you we got a. Big are these <laughs> are these squares five or ten feet? Uh, ten. Oh, the squares are ten feet. Yeah, okay. These like tiles are ten feet each. Good to know. Yes, yes. Um, give me a second. Ten by ten. Boom. And if you look on them, it's got very slight markings for each five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> now, we want to meet you, Je me Je Okay, initiatives 20 plus, please. 21? 21? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've only got a uh, plus 3 to dex. So I'm pretty sure Davian goes mm. first. I think I also have a plus 3 to dex. What did you roll, I do. Uh, Br uh, Bruce? Also 21. 21. Plus 3 to dex. I'll, I'll let you guys figure out who wants to go first then. Uh, I have a lot. I'm a gamer. I'll let Davian go <laughs> first because he has a lot. He's okay. a gamer. Um, 15 to 20? No, 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 19. 16 and 19, so we got 19 for Lazarin. So 16. Yes. Uh, 10 to 15? 13. 13. Plus 10 initiative. Over 10 initiative. Yeah, I'm happy. 
Uh, Dyke, what'd you roll? Seven. Okay, let me just quickly sort out initiative in this fucking thingamajig then. So, first we have, hold on. Uh, Davian, uh, Termis mode, boom, and Brooks. Then we have a Lazarin. I love how cool this is. I love this. <laughs> I feel so like cool. I'm playing a video game. I love it. All of the archers. It's also just good because oh, we God. can we can keep track of like what mm. when our turn's coming up if we forget the order. Cass. Yeah, we can just look up. Oh no. Jack. I love how it's Wait, like does Hawthorne go on your turn? Uh... Oh, I forgot yes. to roll an issue. Yeah, he is a separate. He rolled a fucking. Number. A number. He rolled a 17. Fuck. I'm just gonna say he goes on your turn for this, for the sake of this, uh, for this, uh, cool. this uh, comment. Because we've already Cause halfway I'm, down. CBA editing this shit. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's Jax, blah, 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 blah. fighter or warrior Scrap, five and six. Boom. That's five. All right, okay. Yeah, five and six. I rolled them for duos. Yeah, yeah okay. I had fighter um, six, my bad. C, number one and two. Two. Let's I'm go. gonna be last. Let's go. Uh, yeah, but that means Daigen you'll be able to run away when we're with... all dead. Hey, you're not last, Fog. Uh, right over. She could have run her away at any point. Hold on. True. That she could probably yeah. outrun our Daigen. horses. She was way develop an emotional attachment. And then attachment number three and four, which doesn't fucking work for some. Uh. Oh, it's because I hold tab, and that's when the game just goes like, nope. All right. Boom. So. Davian, with that said, you get to go first. Yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw back the string of my bow without an arrow, and then magically a green arrow of entangle <gasps> forms in the bow, and I That's launch an entangle sick. at the archers. It's a 20-foot square, so it should be able to get all of them. Uh, 10, 20, yeah, yeah absolutely. I'll get all four of them. Uh, and then need to make a strength saving throw uh, with save. a DC 13. DC 13, all right. Look, see. So the archers are going to be in that square. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, DC 13. It's strength, yeah. you say? Yes. Only one of them saves. All right. So they were, those three are now restrained, which means they have disadvantage on attack. Okay. And we have advantage on attacks made against them. Uh, so that's my action. And with my bonus action, um, I'm actually going to command Onu. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. His speed is 60 feet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I genuinely did the math. It's <laughs> the hypotenuse is 36 feet to strike that nearest. Because he's 30 feet up and like 20 feet away. Mm -hmm. So the nearest warrior to the north. This guy, yep. Yeah. He's going to attack him and then fly the remaining 24 feet back up. Okay. So. <laughs> Oh, oh god, that's bad. Um, it's like shred is my spell attack modifier. Oh god, it's not gonna hit. It's like seven. Yeah, seven to hit. Let's yeah, not hit. No. So Onu flies in, misses, and then he just goes straight up. Is that what you said? Uh, up and back twenty four feet. Yeah, so he's gonna go. He's gonna fuck off back over here. Then I guess. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Is that your turn? Mm hmm. Uh, does he? Oh wait, actually, is that me at the front there? Yeah, this, yeah. This, this little fella. Oh, can I move, uh, like, northwest, just one square? Like here? Yes, thank you. Okay. That's my turn. Alrighty. Brooks. Is there... Okay, so I have 40 feet of movement. You do. If I move up and right a little, is it possible for me to get all four of the melee boys and potentially the front archer... In a thirty-foot call, uh, I should be able wait, to. So you want to go? Boys. It's five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I have forty foot, so. In a thirty, in a thirty-foot cone. Yes. I think I can yeah, get. The, yeah, yeah, just about, just about this entire group. Can I get four? And archer? then this first archer. Yeah, yeah, you can. Perfect. Nice. I'm gonna pull out the horn of blasting. Ooh. Uh, 
Oh yeah. No. I'm just gonna pull out this like it's like a, a long wooden horn with a with a lion's head on the end. Uh well that's uh, not we flavored this. Oh, it's it's like dressed in dragon blue dragon scales and the head oh, is, is yes, a dragon. No, head. this is it's dragon fancy this one. Yeah. I forgot. It's not the normal one. Nope. Okay, I pull out this dragon horn of blasting then. Go for it. And I'm just gonna fucking <laughs> down it. Roll percent uh, dice. All need... Yes, that's the first thing. <laughs> I need to get below. Tw I need to get above twenty, right? Yeah, but twenty or lower, it, it blows 80. up or something. Yeah. Uh, that's a seventy-four. Okay, so you're good. It doesn't blow. Up. It doesn't explode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pog, we did it. Guys. Um, they all need to make a Constitution saving throw. Con save. All right. Um. I have a three, a seven, a sixteen, an eleven, and a fifteen. The 15 and 16 save. Okay. Uh, so they, so the two that save, yep. uh, take half damage. Uh, it's thunder damage, 5d6. Whew. Not a great roll. The okay. two that saved take seven damage each. Two that save take seven damage each? Yep. Okay. Uh, the three that didn't save take 14 damage each and are all deafened. 14 damage season roll mm. deafened. Yes. Um, is that 1, 4, and 5? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, man. Cool. Those three that didn't make the save look fucking rough. Uh, <laughs> they... Did the archer make the save, by the so way? So wait, which... The archer made the, the save, ones, yeah. The ones near Brooks are deafened? Like, uh, three three of the four closest to Brooks are, are, are deafened at the moment, yeah. Completely deafened. Got it. And very hurt. And then... I'm using... Bonus action. Hell yeah. I'm gonna rage. Fuck yeah. And that's my turn. Okie dokie. Elazarin. Uh, I will... We'll say for the sake of this, that all of you, you that are, are like still collected here, except for Davian, are still in the cart. I will uh, hop out the cart. Okay. So I can like fucking see him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I will... As an, yeah, as an action, I'll, I'll put up the dome. Okay. So safe foot dome fucking comes out. Um so basically everyone Brooks is in that dome. And 30 foot dome. There, yeah. I say you're here right now, fine. It's safe at radius dome. So I think, yeah, oh, that's be, big. Yeah, Brooks will be fine. You could get everyone. Yeah, you can get everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that means it's sixty feet, feet across. End end. True. So if you're like if you're the center point of the dome, Brooks will be in it. Yeah, I'm the center point of the dome. Yeah. Okay. Well then, cool. Uh, and then I will bonus action. Yeah, I'll spiritual weapon, and I'll put it like right in the middle of the uh, three archers. I forgot yeah, about the spiritual weapon. weapon. Fuck shit. They're within on. sixty feet. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh no, is it one twenty? You gotta do a thing. Oh, there it is. Nice. Like here? Uh, yeah, and it'll just attack that one that's like the most northern. Okay. If that one's entangled, it has advantage. Uh, that's number four. Let's see, that's I made it so that that was the only one that made the save. Number four. So that's just okay. attack an entangled one instead. Quick. Pepperonis. Uh, yeah. I mean, you you can I see mean, that yeah, three of them are entangled. Would you? Oh, make yeah. the, like the one that's the cell phone to that then that's entangled. Then I shall do that. Number two. Uh, for 17 to hit. That hits, absolutely. Ooh, for 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage. Whew. Nice damage, baby. Okay, yeah, and that'll be my turn. Like, these, these gnolls... Uh, there's a lot of them, but they don't seem uh, very beefy. Like they seem and pretty, can pretty I get squishy. 8 points of temp HP? Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Alrighty. That's so my turn. turn. Yes. All, right, all four of the archers now have a turn. <laughs> um, oh, baby. Arch number to be one, fair, so the one in front of the log is going to fire an arrow at Davian. To be fair, Davian one of them shot, shot at, them. at me, and I laughed at them, so. Um, so that guy and then I shot them. is going to shoot an arrow. What's Davian. the worst that can uh, oh, That's a five to hit, so you, yeah, that, that, that flies miles over. Arch number two. Does Entangle make, give them this advantage, by the way, or not? Yes, yeah. It does. Restrained, 
They they have disadvantage on their own attack rolls. There's vines fucking up their okay. arms as they try and draw the bow. Is it what? Two All attack rolls? Yeah. Wild. It's attack rolls they make, fire. and we have advantage against them. So what they see is they see Davy and they say Brooks and they see Elazar and the rest of you are still in the cart. So this mm -hmm. guy is going to shoot at Elazar. <laughs> uh, two 18s. So even with this advantage, <sighs> that's still a 21 to hit. Damn. With my cloak of displacement. Fuck. Oh, Gives right. Disadvantage anyway. yeah. Gives disadvantage anyway. But... Uh, that yeah, is that seven points of piercing damage. So that is... Well you know, your, t your temp HP My takes, boy. The, uh, takes the brunt of that. No. Fucking... The one time I want someone to attack me, specifically I want one of the archers to shoot at me. Uh, I the think car. the final two are also going to shoot one at Davy and one at Elazarin because they see Brooks in front of four of their boys and they're like, yeah, they got that covered. They're stupid. So one more for Elazarin. Uh, a 16 to hit with his advantage. Yeah, that is my AC. Mm. <laughs> uh, nine points of piercing damage. Ah! And God, that fucking cloak is the final Use that noise. Davian, I'm rolling really oh. well. 16 to hit with his advantage. Oh, I mean, he wouldn't have this advantage either way, right? But yeah, oh, that true. hits. Yeah, that's the one without... Uh, yeah. yeah, that would... Yeah. Well, he hits anyway. <laughs> exactly. Uh, for four points of piercing damage. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Clearly. Seven and nine, then so, four. These four... Are they going to move anywhere? Hmm... Probably not. They're not very smart. I'm going to stand here. And... That's playing. My ears is really. Yes. They can't move anyway. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean one of them could, I guess, right? One of them. It's me. Yes, you're up. Okay. You're still in the cart. Um, yeah, I'll do Hawthorn first. Okay. Uh, he has like forty flying f speed. Okay. Um. Forty would get him directly in front of this guy, if that matters. Uh. Nah, he's gonna move uh ten feet forward and then shoot at um the one that is like in the group at the north but closest towards the road. So this one? Yeah, four. four yeah. Four? Okay. Yeah. Roll attack. Uh da -da 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 -da. Uh, that is 17. 17 hit. hits, yep. Yeah. Um, so he takes one piercing damage and has to roll a DC 10 constitution saving throw. DC 10 con save. Uh, it's 12. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's yeah. all he'll do. What are you gonna um, do? I'm gonna... Can I take half cover in the cart? Given that you were, like, at the front... You're pretty exposed because you were like at front by the horses, so there's no real cover around you. Can I like move to take half cover in the car? Top of the back, right? Who's still in the cart right now? Me. Dagon, Me. And Jax. The rest of them are out. Yeah, I'll say that you can. Yeah, sure. I get full cover behind Jax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'll take half cover in the cart and then I'm gonna cast Crown of Madness on the one that is furthest to the south. Uh, number three, this one? Yep. Okay. He has to roll um, a wisdom save. Uh, a wisdom, wisdom save. save. Oh, I want to see him no whack his homie wise. so badly. You want to see him what? No, he is now. I want to see him whack his homie. He is now um, Crown of Thorn or, or of Madness. Sure, he's yeah, so this guy, uh, just this like jagged crown appears around his head. And you can see this like blank... <laughs> stare coming out of his uh coming out of his eyes and yeah you know he's under your control okay that's it. seven temp hp for kef oh wait i'm also gonna wait is that uh oh, never mind ignore me okay uh, seven temp hp for kef you said aye all right there thank you, you Jax. all right i'm gonna run up next to brooks sure and then smack my gauntlets together Ooh. and cast Thunderwave. Hell yeah. Bam. What's so I need the... them to make a constitution. What's the like area of effect on Thunderwave? Uh, 20 foot cube. 15 foot cube. Yeah, so you'll be able to get these four. Like all of them. All yep. four of them. Okay. Sweet. 
me and you just liquidizing Con these people. On saves. Poor guys, dude. Uh, 191796. Uh, the 1917 both save. Fuckers. They'll say one and two save, three and four don't. Ooh, damn. Uh, wait, one and five save, four and six don't. Sure, whatever. That's a good roll. Uh, nice they roll. take, if they didn't save, 15. Seven if they did save. Uh, thunder damage. Seven if they damn. did save? Seven if they did save. Man. <laughs> like the one? It's all them dead, but you... Your, your gauntlets together, and this is wave of crackling thunder just echoes past them. And all four of these oh my God. <laughs> crumble. Oh, Yo, give me my beautiful. KP, baby. That only counts as one. That still only counts as one. So all four of these just perish. I want perish. all the oh assist God. XP for that. I'm brutally murdered. Mm. That could have been worse. Could have been better. I don't know. It's a pretty quick way to go. Anything else you want yeah, to do? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think that's all I can do. Hey, Jack, you get 7 temp HP. Fucker. No warrior number two, not the one being uh, controlled. Maddened. How much movement do gnolls have? I'm, I'm curious. It, does Crown of Madness make them hostile? Like, how does that work? Because, like, will he take an opportunity attack at number two for two runs? Let me quickly have a look. See, I think it's just it follows whatever. Like when they have a turn, uh, uh, then they roll a just, dice. Can just decide. No, that's confusion that you're thinking of, Quavo. No, I think. Okay. Um. You have a choice. You can see within range, but on a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by you for the duration. While the target is charmed in this way, a twisted crown of jacket iron appears on its head, and a madness glows in its eyes. The charm target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee okay. attack against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. So Cass ah. can decide. Um, but otherwise, acts normally on its turn if you choose no creature or none are within its reach. Uh, so no, it's just for an action. Cass decides. You oh, attack that's that a shame. Way. Okay. So this guy is going to just. I mean, book it to allow. Oh wait, hold on. He stands here. How much can he move? 10, 20, 30. <laughs> He'd be doing a little dance. Yeah. The Lazarus is technically just out of his reach, but... Get fucked. Toxic. <laughs> but, actually, no, because they have spears. Spears have reach. <laughs> and for a melee attack... No, that's still a five-foot reach. Never mind. Yep. Spears would be longer. Yeah, they need, like, pikes or halberds or something. Well, in that yeah. case, he's going to not go that far. He's gonna fucking throw his spear. So, throw it, yeah. And he's gonna fucking chuck it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Eat that spear. He's gonna fucking chuck it. What are you saying? Hell yeah! You're saying that me, you pricks. Yeah, I know. That's why we're happy. <laughs> uh, it's oh, not yeah. us. Is your cloak of displacement still a thing, or is it just done? No, now? it no. goes because I've been attacked once and it's hit me. I can get to my next turn. It's fucking. Oh, hate it. Unfortunately, so, giving it to um, me. Well, that's a shame. It's only a twelve to hit, so. Oh, it fucking misses anyway. There you go. Hey, Don't now he's lost his spear. What a bitch. What's he going to do? Punch us? Yeah. Bite? Good pull out another fast. spear. All right. <laughs> Daigon, you're up. Uh, let's just do a 1v1 one, one spear fight. The one that just threw a spear at a Lazarin. Now that it's, he's mildly disarmed, I'm going to run up to him and try and poke him with my spear. Hell yeah. thought you were going to throw yours at him. No, no, no. I'd rather, I'm much better two-handing it than I am at throwing you it. You end up theory. picking up his spear and he picks Hell up yeah, yours and you just yeah. there looking at each other. Uh, natural 19 plus 6, 25. Yeah, that hits. Absolutely. Sheesh. They just keep throwing spears at each other until they die. Yeah, right. Where's my d10? No, it's not d10. Is it d8? Two-handing? It's a d8. Okay, that's fine. They're all falling to the bottom of my dice tray. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It's okay. Take your time. It's been a while. Uh... Five plus four. Nine points of piercing damage. Nine points of piercing damage. So you you run up with your spear and just jam it into his <laughs> into his um, Sorry. into his torso. These guys a uh, little taller than you are, so you definitely have to like stab up, but you, you manage That's to fine. just lodge your spear into his chest and he just kind of starts snarling at you and just kinda of starts biting at you like like a like a yep. like a wild dog essentially. And then my bonus action, my plan. Because if I stabbed, like, upwards, and the spear is still kind of embedded in him, mm -hmm. do a quick, like, 
get low to the ground and do a big like sweep out my leg in like a kick and then get back up and grab the spear again. Sure. Quick little so the bonus action unarmed strike, basically. Yeah, go for it. Uh, less good. Uh, what is it? I'm sure so plus six. That's a 15 Taking these to hit. To 15 to hit? Just hits. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, a d4. It's been a while. I'm forgetting how to play. Oh, that's balls. One on a d4 plus mm. four. Five points of slashing damage from my claws. All right. You sweep down and just kick him in his knee and you can just hear the crack as his oh, yeah. head turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's not looking too good. <laughs> he's not Hell looking yeah. too good. Poor guy. And then I immediately get back up and put hands on the spear again, just so that he doesn't take it from me or anything. And Sounds that's good. my turn. Okay. And you get um, 10 points of temp HP. Oh, fuck Damn. yeah, dude. Damn. Ooh. All right. Um, Maximum, guess, baby. What does your null warrior well, do? Nothing. Nothing. He attack nothing. If he can't attack it, anything, it goes he, just, like, he can throw he his just spear, takes the right? turn normally. It has to be a melee attack. It has to be melee. Wait, 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 yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Fuck. I purposely so didn't want to attack the crazy one because I don't know if it would ruin the spell. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'll attack the other one. If there's nothing to attack. Yeah, he would just attack you. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. No, yeah, it could, yeah. Uh, so it just takes its yeah, turn it's normally. Yeah, it's just going to take its turn normally. Like, so Minus is a low-level spell. <laughs> he's going to just... Uh, he's got 30 yeah, feet. He's going to just close the gap with uh, Daigon. He's just going to yeah. try and stab Daigon with his, with his spear, then, in that case. Dude. And I'd rather be shot with arrows, personally, but, you know, uh, that's it's only a 10 to hit, so that's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, misses. There we go. It then re-rolls its wisdom save. Oh, okay. Dagon's uh, going to start walking around with this so shot with just a bullseye there. on it. Excellent. <laughs> there you uh, Back there to you, Davian. Um, okay. <sighs> Fuck. How far, uh... Horizontally is Onu from, from those nulls to the south? Uh, he's up here. Horizontally, just like horizontally, just... D d yeah, just along the ground. 30? 20, from the closest one? 30, 35. <sighs> um, f that's annoying. Okay. I'm going to... 35. Okay, we, out of the two warriors that are with Daigon, which one's got the crown? Uh, the one to her south. Okay, so then I'm gonna attack the one that doesn't have the crown. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot him. Okay. So that's Straight the one up. with my spear still in yes. his. Yes. Yeah. In his chest. Uh, it's a a 15 to hit. Just hits. Okay, and I'm going to use uh, favored foe. Nice. So I do an extra d4. For two uh, plus two plus three so seven points of piercing seven damage damage as this guy still has like dragon nice. spear lodged lodged in his chest his knee like just completely popped out of the sockets from the kick oh stop you <laughs> <laughs> you fire an arrow and it just goes into the side of its head and Diagon, you can feel just suddenly this Blech. like heavy weights just slump I'm holding spear, him up now as the only the thing body. keeping him from falling to the ground is your you and your spear as his, his, oh his, no because now, now he's just like slowly like falls yeah, down yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much <laughs> um Boom. Gone. I don't think I have many bonus actions other than really like commanding Onu or casting Hunter's Mark and I don't really feel like casting Hunter's Mark I'm I'm gonna Onu's just gonna dive bomb him uh, which one? Uh, the the uh, the one with the crown, because at this point it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um. That's that. What was it? He was like 35, 40 feet. Uh, 10, 20. This guy was was thirty feet away. Okay. So, hold on. That means that the B was thirty feet, and he was thirty feet up, which means he has eighteen feet of movement left still. Okay. So he's going to attack. Max for the a, win. A 10 plus 5, so 15 to just hit. Just hits, just hits. Oh, beautiful. And he's going to shred for 1d4 plus 3 plus my proficiency bonus. Yeah. Which is fucking hell. <laughs> 1 plus 3 plus 2. 6 points of damage. Six damage. 
and then he's going to just swoops down and just starts shredding you know with this this shoe bill stork big ass fucking beak just goes down talons and beak and everything just all in ready and just tear into the guy and then he just fucks off uh yeah he's only got how much did i say 18 feet of movement so we'll make that 20. yeah so just just like straight south straight south yeah so he just like swoops down batters him keeps going yeah beautiful Actually, hold on. Um, okay, I'm quickly checking. Crowded Madness doesn't say anything about having to re-roll the save when they take damage, so... No, it's... Kes nope. has to keep it up, though. Uh, yeah, but... The, I'm, I'm they not save the one at the end of the game, yeah. so that doesn't, doesn't do anything. Affect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeboy didn't Sorry. took damage, so I was like, oh, does he have to roll? But no, he's fine. Nope. Right. Oh, do I get 10 HP? Oh, yeah, you do. You do. You get... 6. Nice. We take those. All right, Brooks. Uh, with my forty foot of movement, how far can I get? You want to go towards the feet. archers? You'll be able to get to so the archers. Yeah, fuck. You'll be able to one yeah, guy. Able to get here. Would I be able to get to the other side of him so I could potentially fight two of them? Or to... there's a log in the now. way. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky. But like you can. You can just about position yourself like here, but there's a log in between you and the other guys. I'll stand so. on the log if I have to. Like, sure. Okay. Uh, on the log. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna go for the one that's restrained. Whoa! Just... And just like rolls it through all three of the <laughs> the ones that are in Honestly, entangled. could kill them. Um, hey man, I played Valheim. I played Valheim. Yeah, fucking <laughs> logs, man. <laughs> Uh, gonna, so the one to the west is still restrained, right? It's only the north one that's not yes, restrained? Yes, correct. So I'm going to attack the one to the rest, the west first. Okay. With my hand axe. That's number one. Yep. Uh, oh, thank god that I have advantage on this. Uh, 21. That hits. That is... Uh, shit rolls. Uh, seven points of slashing damage. Seven points of damage. Uh, still up, but looking rough. Okay. Uh, bonus action. Flurry blows. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's so much. Monk berry and shit, yo. <laughs> uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Uh, Bonk. 10 points hit. of slashing damage. 10 points? Yep. Yeah, that'll do it. Because you, uh, I have, just in in rapid succession, chop at this knoll twice with your uh, with your hand next, and because you were standing on the log, you were actually about equally as tall, so you were just able to just twice in the head, uh, and it just yeah he just slumps down and collapses. Uh, okay, um, because I used flurry blows, I gain my drunken technique, uh, so I have an extra ten feet of movement speed. Mm -hmm. And I have benefit of the disengage action, so I'm going to move oh. with my ten feet to between the three of them. Like pass the spiritual weapons, just be like slap yeah. bang, like like whoo, and bob and weave. Can do shit about it. I mean, yeah, and I have one attack by left. Three of them, but they're all equipped with bows, so <laughs> I have. Uh, Why? I mean, what are they gonna do? Shoot me? Uh, no, it just ruins my plan. Uh, I have one attack. Oh, tough. I'll survive. Do it, pussy. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> do it. Enough. Like, are we fine? Do um, it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna use my uh, last. Uh, uh, nah, I'll, I'll hit my mic. I'll hit the fucking. I'll hit the one to the south. Uh, oh, this man just doesn't stop. He is. Rest uh, that's it. he's restrained. So we have advantage on the attack. Yeah, the one of the twenty-two. Which one? Wait, I thought the one to the south wasn't. Which one? No, is, the one, is, the, which the one, one is to the north, north is not restrained. Not restrained. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, the I'm just gonna north. fucking kick him in the back of the fucking leg. Okay. Stop uh, all this leg shit. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna kick him in the back of the spine. God. Uh, As opposed to the front okay. of the spine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I kick him in the front of the spine, he's dead either way. <laughs> That's, There's just uh, lots more organs and squishy seven, bits eight in front points of the spine. Of, uh, hey, what did you roll to hit first? I didn't hear. Uh, fucking 17 plus yeah, okay. 5, 22. Eight points, you said? Yes. Oh, uh, those numbers. Two. Yeah, I mean, this guy also just... 
you hear a you hear a very satisfying crack as you kick him in the back, and he just yeah collapses and and the back of his spine comes out of his front. The back of his spine comes out of his front. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You ruined my mortal, how do I want to do this? Mortal Kombat shit. Um, uh, that is my turn. That's your turn finally. Ten oh, HP man. I'm not in your range. I don't think oh, you're in the range at you all. You are not. You are oh. not. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> do what you're going to do anyway. I ain't scared. Ezrin, oh, you're up. I was going to moonbeam right in the middle of those three. Do it. <laughs> do it. Now. Do it. But on. now there's a Brooks there. Yeah. Kind of feeling not the best idea You'll I've ever be had. Fine. I'll be fine. You've seen me survive worse. I'd say that's overkill, honestly. Yeah, exactly. That's why. Well, when there's three, I could yeah. just fucking just blast scene. I don't yeah, you two. Got, like, it's not really worth it. Flame one. It's this it. is your only yeah, chance to kill other. Brooks without it looking suspicious. True. I mean, it yeah. looks pretty suspicious because I will be sent to get right in the middle of Brooks. <laughs> like, <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah. If only he was right next to my charmed dude. Do it. I will. Uh, I will use my spiritual weapon to attack the old fucking one that's next to. You. Um. Actually, is the other one uh, uh, restrained? Yes. Fucking weather. I'll, I'll move to that one that one at the back then, because it can move 20 feet. So I'll just go there. Okay. Get advantage. Mm-hmm. Oh, two 18s. Wow. That's wow. A 25. That hits, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I do... Uh, 11 points of damage. Very good. And Jen, mm -hmm. as an action, I am... Hmm. I'm just gonna sacred flame. What's the range on sacred flame? Sixty feet. I'm just gonna sacred flame the. Yeah, yeah. You, you're just you're you're just there. That, that I mean, will just I, work. I, I, I'll yeah. I'll I'll sacred flame the other one. Okay. Um, stick safe, please. Uh, brrr. uh, nine. Fails and it nice. takes. Four points of damage. <laughs> Four points of damage. All right. And then they that my turn. That your turn. That my turn. Both of them. Oh, I get how much temp HP do you get? I get temp HP. Are going to just look at Brooks like he's a tasty yeah. snack. Nine. I just killed two of their friends. Bring it and are just going to try and take a take a take a bite. Okay. Uh, and One they are of them's they are flanking. Technically, are they? Which means it's a straight roll for one and a advantage for the other, right? Now they are. Okay, he's they gonna are. move the flag. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do they have melee weapons? No, they're, they're They've got mouths. No, but they're biting. They got mouths. They're oh, they're biting. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Regular. So, so like the third one of them time. Had a spear. And still... He's definitely getting rabies. This. Is a uh, dirty twenty. About oh, twenty-one. That hits, yeah. Uh. So you take five points of piercing damage. I have to two because I'm raging. Correct. The other one, uh, it's just a straight roll, is a 16 to hit. Just hits. Four, four points of piercing damage, so two again. Okay. Uh, and that is their turn. Yes. Barely a flinch. Is Daigon hurt much? No, no, not at all. Untouched. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just, uh, <laughs> it's like, damn it! Injures me. <laughs> I'm gonna maintain control of the other knoll. Okay. <gasps> what a bitch! <laughs> what a bitch! <laughs> Bring it! <laughs> okay. That's that's my whole turn. Uh, uh, Hawthorne is gonna. What a bitch! I have temp HP for a reason. It's all good. Three. It's gonna f fly <laughs> over and shoot the. Archer, like right next to the log. How far is he flying? Like f 20 feet. He doesn't need to go far. Next, no, it's an archer. It's a ranged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. That didn't even go on my tray. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> that is like 18. 18 hits, yeah. Um, One piercing damage and wow. a roll. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Wow. Oh, wait a second. Oh, hey, that con save came in clutch once, okay? You know what? It, that's when a, it works, that's it works. A, that's a seven. There no, you go. He's unconscious. <laughs> Ow. Nice. Ow. Um, <laughs> he is asleep. I get knocked down. 
Brooks, now just end it. End it, brutal. Oh, no. oh no, he <laughs> pushes the log down the hill. No. <laughs> Is that your turn, uh, Bell? That's it. All right. Jax. Oh, Bell, you got nine, as your... Oh, How far nice. away is the log from me? Is it like probably farther than 30 feet, right? 5, 10, 15, yeah. 20, 25. Look, these are 10 25. foot squares. Yeah, 25. These are 10 foot squares, though, aren't they? So that's it more than that? Oh, or... yeah, but 10, 15. Because I'm debating whether I push oh, the log oh. on top of the unconscious guy. <laughs> for, for the sake of me and having I mean... to figure out how the fuck that works, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Counterpoint, I could use it as an improvised weapon. Yeah, I'm just. I guess. If a I whole fucking it. lot. I was saying, like, a whole, like, tree. <laughs> All right. He's um, got an axe. You can you can chop you can chop how, the off, right? How hefty that is that archer looking? Which one? The one that's still standing? Yeah. Hey, he's looking fucked. He's looking rough, bloodied. All right. Uh, I'm going to uh, cast magic and missile. Ooh. See little missiles pop out my shoulders, and I'll shoot one of them at that guy and two at the fucking non-spear guy. The or wait, he has the spear. They both, they both have bows. But there's one of them. Yeah, the is, other one, one the of them is melee unconscious one. and the other no, one is standing. No, 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 the, one, the one south by Daigon. Oh, right. Yeah, I forgot that guy still still existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not going to attack the sleeping guy. Okay, so you're, you're shooting around? one at the archer and two at the spear? And... Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, roll damage. Magic missile always hits, so. Uh, for the archer one, that's five points of force damage. Five points of force. Oh, he's looking so rough. Oh, I'm pissed. I didn't shoot two at him now. Okay. <laughs> I'm pissed. Sorry, I'll get my KP other ways. And the other one takes nine points of force damage. All right. Yeah, this guy's also starting to look pretty fucking rough. Oh, Dagon's got him. Show. And uh, that's my turn. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. If you... Six is your new temp HP, if it does. Fuck you, I have seven. Yeah, that's what I said. I think you're pretty sure you <laughs> All right, Dagon. All right. Seeing that he looks pretty rough, technically there's still a dead body on the end of my yeah, spear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh no, I'm gonna jump up in the air and use some of the magic from jumping to like pull the spear out and then go for a double, a kick to his head while I'm up in the air and just. Okay. Oh, that yeah. sounds so, so dope. Can't wait for Lord's roll I can't wait one. to roll once, <laughs> yeah. right? And yeah. now, okay, so for the first kick. God, I hope you don't cut I mean, I mm. mean, it's not a one. But it's a two. two. <laughs> no, it's not so that's an eight. No, no, it's not hits, then, no. There's nothing then, quite Lord describing something epic and instantly the yeah, dice being yeah, like, yeah, like, go yeah, fuck yeah. yourself. No. And then the second, the second kick. Is that one? Is that one? <sighs> that was four. <laughs> Plus six is a ten. So Bonnie, Bell, you don't have a plus 13. Just, just miss, and uh, unfortunately, I really should just stop trying cool to things. come up with cool things and just be like, I hit him no, with this. No, 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 and just no, 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 you say you, you, hit. you hit. You say you say you roll to hit, and then yep. you say what you do. Yep. Nah, like, but it's more fun to play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so funny. I, I, I pulled a spear, but I was a bit keen with the kicking, and yeah. I just whiffed the kick. You didn't <laughs> miss. You just didn't hit with enough for Was that your turn, Dagon? Yeah, and I land in like Black Widow superhero landing mode. Look you up and go uh, fuck in, in, in my head, uh, in my head, get, not out loud. You get, you get oh, seven. You know. Damn. <laughs> Just Can landed. I keep the ten? I had ten. Yeah, 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 before. yeah okay. you keep that one. It's like okay. all right. And now one. the null with the crown. He's gonna attack Dagon. Hell yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, oh, bring it. Oh, dude. All right. Oh my. Bring it. Bring it. That's a fourteen to hit. Misses. So he tries, swing and a miss. Oh, fuck it's because I'm doing the Black Widow pose. I'm too low. Yeah, yeah he just like just with a spear You're just being a jab you as you kind of like are <laughs> falling midair, and he just. Shh. All right, uh, that's his turn. Davian. Oh, uh, first things first. Just because I want to see him get a killing blow, I'm gonna use my bonus action to make Onu attack that man's. Honk. And it is a 15 to hit again. Honk. Just hits. 1d4 plus... Was it a d4 oh, no, plus so 5 fun. total? I should really remember yes. that. Oh, yeah. Yes, because oh, yes, you should see in your decks. Oh my god. 6 points of damage. 6 points of damage? <laughs> that yep. might be enough. That will be enough. Yes, hey! dude! Oh, oh. Oh. Just... Onu fucking swoops down. I don't know why he's soaring against he's taking the tree. He's angry. He's, he's angry. He's doing it. Angry Goose he's Game. There's massive, massive <laughs> talons, like, right into the guy's back, and then just... I suppose I can, I can make him fly by just... Shreds his throat with his sharp-ass beak. Do shoebill storks have massive talons? Yes, they yeah, they have I've very been, long yeah, legs and big massive. feet. They're not like they're not like sharp, sharp like long 
claws, but the actual like feet are big. I mean, they're okay. big birds. You know, they are yeah. dinosaurs. Uh, I knew they were huge dabbing? birds. I yeah. they had you know. big wide base. You know. <laughs> Um, there's still there's still a guy unconscious. Are we still like in initiative order. Yeah, there's one guy still up. Yeah. Guy, can... Oh yeah. Oh, sh how far is he from me? Easily close enough for my longbow. Yeah, Fuck yeah. him. Oh, 16 plus seven, 23 to hit. That hits. One d8 plus three. That is seven points of piercing damage. Seven points of piercing damage. Uh, for the sake of this, since that guy's unconscious, uh, how do you want to finish him off? Eh. Uh... I only already got the flourish. I'll just shoot him right in the right in the betwixt the eyes and Alrighty. let him so flop down to the ground. So with that said, um, you're out of initiative. There's still one null left, but he is uh, I... knocked out cold. I'm going to walk up to him and put my arm around his neck. Okay. And start and picking him up and just see if anyone him. reacts. I mean, I mean, if Brooke, if Brooks doesn't like kill him instantly you just see the spiritual weapon come up <laughs> and, like, oh, coming man. up round just kind of you can see it's like there like the non trucks in front of you still kind of spinning just waiting to see i'm gonna do. take that as a sign that this is cleric approved and just cleric approved. yeah, yeah. Just uh, absolutely and i say to make measure you just like a couple of hits on the head with the spiritual weapon as well just go <laughs> and with that you hear just like this like one final <laughs> as you just oh. snap the neck and uh and I was just there, like, la, 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 la. That, is, that, is, that is all ten of the gnolls dealt with. Uh, there's still the yeah. issue of the big fuck I'm off gonna... tree that, that got felled to uh, block the how, road. How, but... Roughly, how big is this log? Um... Good question. Uh, let me have a look see. Um, well, Before my on the battle map, it is uh, covering uh, a 20 foot square, so I'll say it's 20 feet long. Okay. Okay. I will go up to Brooks for does anything and cast uh, guidance on him. I'm, if I do it now, I think my rage is yet to drop because I made uh, sure. an attack. Just technically. Sure. Yeah, you technically made an attack to snap that guy's neck. Yeah, sure. Okay. I cool. Still guide I'm you. gonna. I'll run up and guide you. I'm gonna test to see how easy it is, if possible, to be lifted, and if not, I'll just like drag it off. I just make a strength check. Uh, natural twenty. Wow, oh, dude. For a total go. of uh, 28 with my guidance. There you go. Yeah, you just like put both your arm, both your hands like like under the log and you start lifting and it just, yeah, you easily just kind of like Give pick it. it up and just, just rolls it to the his side. sleeves up and just like over the shoulder and just fucking. Like, like lumberjack it. fucking. <laughs> yeah, and just See, I knew you could do it, Brooke. Do you, do you just uh, carry it off to the side of the road and just chuck it down or what do you do? <laughs> Yeah, I'll, just, I'll carry it up and then I'll just like <laughs> dump it down and start unfurling my sleeves again. Can I uh, collect my arrows trois that I fired in this? Sure. I will I also... happy loot the four people I killed? Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay, nice. Make investigation. I'm just gonna just, like... wipe my spear off on one of their like fur or their coats over there and just clean. Uh, Mr. DM. Well, go, so go first. Go to 24. 24? You Ooh, like find uh, in the pockets of these gnolls, they were wearing this like like cloth like like outfit. A um, couple of like raw, meaty bits. Something that they probably they were like snacking on or something. Yeah. Not sure what kind of animal or person that belonged to, but it's... Right, so um, it's people. You do find uh, two small pieces of onyx. <laughs> Uh, worth about five gold each. Okay. And that's mine. What was that, Duke? That's cool. The, you know, being a ranger, familiar with this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, Null's bit of a bit of a terror. Yes. Would I know of any bounties or anything for Null, like ears or teeth? Um. In Eldalon or anything that they might be looking for? Uh... Uh, make a make a history check. See if you remember. Oh, it's not anything. bad. Sixteen. Early on in your like when you initially arrived to Eldalon, you remembered that uh, there was this, uh, uh, you know, like the, there's like a bounty board type situation going on in Eldalon, uh, where people sometimes you know post without going to the guilds, just post like things that are pest playing them and trying to see if people wanted to get rid of the form. Do you remember? 
Uh, this is weeks ago, obviously. But you remember that there was mention of, of gnolls kind of terrorizing the roads? Um, and that was a little bit of a, of a, of a payment. Uh, you're not exactly sure how much, but... Um, it said something about if you bring provide proof of, of killing gnolls, um, there would be payment in return. You're not sure to whom or how much. But I'm okay, thinking. but knowing that's the thing, we can always check the board later. I will... Um... I'll call out to Jax. Uh, Jax, you, you have a habit of collecting parts of dead creatures. Oh, Not heads, but like ear, probably like a left ear or something off each of them, or so, something like that, just uh, I mean, in we case. Could take the heads. We could take the heads. Oh, I'd rather not no. sit here. I'm gonna start cutting off. off the heads. <laughs> no, wait, that will take far too long. Cut off ears. Don't hack off the heads. Take that long. I'll just use my mace to like mash their necks. Are you going to search any of the other ones off. before you? Uh, or, or are you not searching them? <laughs> I just searched my four, so I don't. Pate. Know. I don't know so which ones did you? Which ones did you search? The four, the four I like to that were to the north. Uh, like skipping and humming if I'm next, if I, I'll, I'll search the arches. Okay. <laughs> just humming while you make me. I want to. Investigation check. You're searching. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. You Math, that's fine. find the same like like meaty, fleshy bits that Jax mm -hmm. found. Just some like yep. people, flesh or animal. You're not sure. It's mm -hmm. like very small, like chopped up or whatever. Um, you find three pieces of onyx worth about five gold each, and mm -hmm. on one of them, find a necklace. And by necklace, I mean a piece of rope with like a piece of cloth, like fabric hanging from it. And on yeah. a piece of fabric, you can see a depiction of a um, triple headed flail. Triple headed Ooh. flail? Yes. Do I recognize Make a religion that check. As... Yeah, okay. Religion. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, you, re you recognize that to be the symbol of Yinogu, which is uh, a demon lord. Um, Typically were shipped by gnolls, and you also know that Yinogu, when depicted in like stories and whatnot, looks very gnoll slash hyena like. Okay. Wielding this triple headed flail. Uh, yeah. But nothing you know that, of you know like. Yinogu is a, a very popular creature, or, or like, being of power were shipped by, uh, by gnolls in gnoll culture. Okay. I will like. Kind of just tuck it back under, like if it, is it wearing like anything? If I does it have like a yeah, they're wearing like these like cloth tunics. Leather, because, yeah, I will just tuck it back underneath its cloth tunic. Okay. Um, and then I will yeah, I'll take I'll take the um, uh, the onyx. Okay. Uh, Kaz is just gonna climb into the front of the cardigan and just lead the horses like up the road a little bit. All right. Is there any evidence of where these gnolls might have come from? Um, the woods. Just trying to look for tracks? Yeah, because that's quite a large group of gnolls. I don't think they would go far from their camp to set up an ambush like this. Make a, just make a perception check for me. Go uh, 21. Uh, you do spot some tracks leading into the woods. God. I <sighs> know. Oh, no. no. Um, it's your thing we're working on, so if you want to derail that, yeah. the th here's the thing. There. Plenty of Sundays left in the year. Here's the thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still got this. I'm still a. I'm still a ranger. You know. <laughs> you are. are you? Yeah. Oh, uh, looks like we've got tracks leading to the woods. Maybe lead back to their camp if there's, you know, if there's any more of them, we might be able to. This wasn't too too difficult. We might be able to clean them up, get the ears or the whole heads, and uh, cash that in for a little bit more. Do we have to? I'll take a chance. Well, to punch some things. We can have this not every, episode. not every. Banded travelers comes prepared to deal with you know ten or so gnolls at a time. Would be doing a lot of people a favor. Delivering some really nice alcohol that ends up not making it because of this. It and could be someone with news about you know Elazarin's spider issue or 
I don't even want to have news about it. <laughs> Elijah, if they do, they here? probably should be killed by gnolls. I have bite marks. No, I'm talking about, you know, like weird friendly farmers that take uh, us in and we yes. do circus performances for. <laughs> I that will... was a fun circus performance, though. That was fun. Look, if it takes more than a day, we just all unanimously agree to blame Davian, but hey, punching things. Well, do we really need paid. to do anything about it? I mean... No. I mean... Davian says we're going to get no paid, real right? reason to delay. I'm just going to, in sign language, <laughs> say to Kess, afraid you're going to lose the bet? <laughs> I fucking knew it. Um, I'm gonna sign back. Not at all. I just want a bath. <laughs> you two stop fucking arguing. And just because we can't hear it doesn't mean that it's not. Yeah, angrily signing at each other doesn't really do us any favors. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, uh, how many more? Us. How many more can there be? Really? Like, well, that's too many soft words. It's so not, like yeah, but it's not like we're going to walk into the fucking Knoll City out here and. I mean, yeah, like fuck nowhere. Can we do it later? Basically, like writing notes for more. Knoll City. I, I think I th now's probably your best chance. Well, not best chance, I mean, but. Could have a little look. Just have a little, like, a smaller wander in and see how. Yeah, I only really far they go. We can take a our, our bait to get away, so. <laughs> All right, all in favor of following the tracks, raise your hand. I don't really care as long as we all do All in favor something. of not following the tracks, Come on, raise your you hand. get to punch things. I'm it's... just fucking bored with this conversation. Well, well that's pick. two definite no's and three definite yeses. Rooks, are you oh, a yes or a no? Hold on, hold on. I don't care, just... <laughs> no, I'm, no. I'm going to say hold yes on. purely so it isn't a dead heat, so let's just fucking go, and I'm just going to start walking that way. Cool. <sighs> we do have one. We okay, 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 okay. The we can't we can't take the cart, but I also don't want to leave it here. So now I'm I mean we can hitch I could the stay up. with it. Uh, we're not splitting up. I mean I could also stay with it. Again, we're not <laughs> splitting up. What's going on with you, Kess? What? This seems Are like you your sword. Or what? Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> um <laughs> You can just boot the cart slightly into the forest and hitch it up there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use speak with animals, and I'm gonna go over to Caramel and Pepper, <laughs> and I'm just gonna say, right, listen, we're not gonna tie you to anything because if you get in trouble, you'll need to run away. If you're not here though, when we come back, we're just gonna follow the road, and you just don't, don't go too far, but. You know, if something happens, just run down the road and hopefully we'll find you eventually. We won't be far though. Okay. All right. So stay here. Anything happens, fucking book it. We'll come and get you. I mean, we should probably move them off the road. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll, move, we'll move them under the trees and then, oh, yeah. We trust horses to just stay here without tying them up. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Stupid. Yes. Well, okay. He just spoke it, to them. I I'd st I don't know. Here's what I told them. them. We're I told them. an unknown favor for this. <laughs> I told them, just please stay here. Very if anything valuable. happens to you, just run down the road uh, east. I'm going to pretend I know that it's east. I have no idea. Um, and we'll catch up to them. You know, they can get out of trouble. Uh, how about I send Jeeves with you and uh, me and Kes will watch the cart? No, just... Don't spill up no. the cart for fuck's sake. Just come with us. We definitely don't need two people watching the cart and Oh, well, I'm still patting heads over here, so No. I wish we you just... weren't. <laughs> we'll just go oh it's we're having like a quick excursion. About six at this point. Yeah. We're, we're, we're not we're, we're not gonna go too far. To see how far it goes. And if it and goes see if ridiculously there's a big camp far, or just a few more knolls that we can clean up. Far, we just won't bother. But if it's only like slightly more into the forest, it's well, worth why going. Why do we even need to clean them up? What money Security for the surrounding area, know you know, still young civilization. Or head or ten gold. It doesn't. Well, we'll find out when we've got the heads. I mean, but either way, I'd rather doing it. Well, there's a thing for the opportunity cost. I'm sure you know much about it. I mean, do I mean it's more doing it for you know because it's kind of one of the right things to do. You know, if we've got a chance yeah, to clear so up this path. I don't really path, care about the right things to do. And no, also, we took a, we took a vote to go in one. Think, think about 
all the merchants that we are saving Save all the path. merchants that I would rather have attacked, and then we can steal their stuff. No, because Ooh, you're not always going to you're not always going to be here. Also, shouldn't we be stealing stuff from another merchant? Not exactly a a f good way to do things, business. Mm. Oh yes, and pirating was such a good way to spend my life. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds pretty fun to me. I mean, oh, we did it for an awfully tests. long time. If you hated it, this was yes. wonderful. <laughs> anyway, but this is what we're doing. We are going in. We're seeing a little bit. We're not splitting up because I think we should split up. <sighs> well, we could do another vote, and guess what? You'll probably lose that one as well. <laughs> Kess, do you really want to go tromping through the woods with Dagon? No. Oh, you guys. See, have to I be can't fucking... leave her sitting here by herself. So no, because Kess is going to come with. Oh, I hate it here. I hate I'm both of you right now. <laughs> from very far down the path. Then I'm going to go back to Patty. And I'm just going to shout out from Patty. very far down the path. Yeah. Guys, I really need some help. <laughs> I'll go what? follow. I'll go hearing that. I'll go yeah, chase after. I'm just gonna take can, I, can I passively insight that? <laughs> uh, I like as panic. What's as your passive insight? What's your passive insight? Sixteen. Do I need to roll deception? Yeah. Uh, natural nineteen, so twenty-three. Yeah, yeah. Oh. he sounds like he's in trouble. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, if Kes goes, we... I'll pull Jeebs out of my bag and set him up to watch the cart. If and he's dead, though, can we just go? If he's dead, we'll bring him back. Or, oh. Unless it's really bad, then we'll leave him. <laughs> <laughs> no love lost here. <laughs> right. So, do you all venture forth together yeah. now after all that? Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. All right, very good. Um. So... Motherfucker. You make it uh, to like <laughs> a little further into the woods. Brooks, you've been following the tracks. Um, <clears throat> a few minutes go by as you're kind of following these tracks. Um, and then it becomes harder and harder to make out where the tracks are coming from. Um, Davian, since you're um, a resident ranger, could you make me a survival mm. check? You guys catch up, and Brooks is there like furiously wiping off his shoes. This, this mud won't come off. <laughs> 16? Yeah. This makes more mud. You um, make your way and find some, some, some semblance of tracks. Eventually, following them, you get to a cave. Ooh, uh, well, guys, well, I, I say cave. It's more like a there's a hill a and somebody or something dug like into it. Oh. It's Cass's home. Um, and you can definitely see that the tracks are, there's tracks that look similar to the ones that you found along the road, um, going both in and out that, that, like, entrance. How, how, how many rough, like, it, could I tell how many footprints left these tracks? Is it just from the group that we dealt with earlier? Uh, pff, you're not sure. There's a lot of them. Okay. Uh, mm. hmm? So it's just like How a fucking hillside with a hole dug into it? Yeah, pretty much. Like the shittiest hobbit hole you've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, no door. Did, Does did it work like 15 minutes or was like, it like... like five or 10 minutes? Okay. This. Uh, does it look like it just is straight? Or is it like it's down or. Like as far as you around? can tell, it looks like it's a straight. Like it's just somebody or something just dug straight into this, this hill. Like I can see 300 feet back, roughly. Oh yeah, right. I forgot about that. Um, <laughs> I exist. Make a perception check. You're a piece of shit. Th that's what I fucking asked. <laughs> I forgot about that. You have like a million feet. Literally, like my vision. thing. It's fine because I rolled uh, a perception check. Oh, that's a ten. Fucking eagle eyes. You can here. see that roughly like sixty feet into this tunnel, and see um, some semblance of of uh, light. It looks like there's light about six or so feet down. Like a, like a campfire is what you. Do we want to go into an unknown sized den? Do, do I mean, I, I could. I mean, we. I can see exactly how wide it is if I put my drift globe in there. That's what she said. And it also Dug tells them that we're here. Can you hear yeah. anything? Uh, I will listen and see if I hear or smell anything. Uh, make a perception check. Little dog. <laughs> You smell a bird like two miles away. Um, that's a sixteen. Oh yeah, you definitely smell more uh, gnoll-like scents coming from that tunnel. I will nod at Davian, 
touch my nose and then gesture back to where we came from. Okay. Um, I, I think she's saying that she smells that we need to go back. Mm. I nod no. Well, and I have to move my I'm whole gonna, fucking body because my neck's injured. I'm going to send Onu, o, Onu up just like 100 oh, feet to circle back? around. And um, Elijah, I don't suppose you could give us all, you know. Oh, yes, of course. You know, and then I'll. Dark sight. Oh, I'll that's just cut. Uh, dark vision that we all need. I will click my fingers and I will give it to. How many people? I think it's it all of us, I'm pretty sure. I think no, I, I now. I think I now Five. can. Oh. Because it's gone. Oh, please don't. Up because it's based on, it's based on my wisdom. wisdom. Last room, please don't. I'll give it to everyone except Brooks. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. So you all now have, what, how much? Like 300 feet? 300 foot dark vision for oh, an hour. Geez. And I will also, right. um, I'll quickly say to Brooks, um, does my sort of vigilant blessing, does my other blessing, does that hurt you as well, Brooks? It doesn't hurt, it's like, just tickles. It's what do you mean by even, hurt? It's not even a physical I don't feel anything. Just, no, not you. Not it makes feel. it feel gross. Yeah, but what? Like it. It, it, you know, you know when you've like not had a shower in like a while, and you start to just feel a bit <laughs> okay, uh, like a real man. You start to feel at home with nature. No. Yeah. No. I will. I will instead. No. I will you then give. Uh, I will give vision <laughs> blessing to uh, Daigon. I don't understand. Why it's... would it you have advantage on it? I don't like. You I don't, don't feel anything. It. Why would anyone? Why would it bother you? Because he's a freak. Because I'm just really sensitive. He's scared to... of mud. I wouldn't I'm, say that he was I'm, a no. freak. That's kind of quite harsh. I'm I'm very well. I mean, it's not to untrue. Magic, it's specifically not... the religious Why? kind, it just makes me not feel great. How long Atheist. Is last Koi book? Weird. Uh, forever. It's very oh, difficult to be it? atheist. Okay. To use it, yeah. Or until well, I I use what, it, if yeah. you have such an attunement for those things, do you think you'd be more magical and just swing I it? I have. I can do this. And I will. Just starts dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this. I will. Uh, I will. Minor illusion. Oh, uh, small. Uh, hmm. I'll just make a, a small image of. of uh, who's annoyed me recently? Everyone. Who has yeah, that's one. true. Oh, I didn't make you coffee this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Lazarin. I will make an image of a Lazarin. Why me? Just Why is it always dance me? Dancing. Silently, just me? a small little figurine. It's not like super accurate. It's like a. Oh, like I a... can do that too. And I'll make uh, a Lazarin's face go on Davian's body. Like just That's fucking face. weird. <laughs> like that... a weird. Uncanny Valley AI yeah. deep fake. Why is it always. Why, Why is it always me? That you guys minor illusion. Or... Well, well, okay. Well, I didn't know you could do that. That's all right. Well, you're very, you're very attractive, and it's it's enjoyable to. Okay, I want to yeah. wait, wait. I want to walk over to the dancing illusion and just stick my face through it. So now it's my face on the body. <laughs> it's a very big head for a very tiny body. Yeah. <laughs> big head mode. Big head mode. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, like she cold. I'm gonna hush well, everybody. Um, mm -hmm. yes. I'm gonna point down the tunnel. And then I'm going to crouch down low, knock an arrow on my bow, and start sneaking into the tunnel. Roll self check. I, just, I sneak behind him. I sneak behind him. Is everyone sneaking? Yeah. yeah. I'm. Are you in your Are you in invisible. your sneak armor? Just, or are you? Like, this isn't going to be good, guys. <laughs> You're going invisible, Cass? Yeah, I'm just going to go invisible and just walk normally. Okay. What's great is I see invisibility is still up, so I just see yeah, you just being invisible. Just like, I feel, like, I feel, like, I feel like so invi done. invisible or not, you can still tell that Kess's arms are crossed. Like, <laughs> I, I can physically see it. Yeah, he can physically. Yeah. So you can like true. feel it. You know. Uh, everybody that is going to try and stealth, uh, roll stealth check, please. Have done. Yeah, we're not stealthing, guys. Yeah, we are. Oh, I'm just gonna let you stealth? know we're not stealthing. <laughs> are you in your non-stealth armor by any chance? I'm in my stealth armor, and we're not stealthing. <laughs> I was gonna say I also rolled shit for something I'm very good at, so that's unfortunate. I, I'm gone, oh, baby. I got a sixteen, so I'm sixteen. Gone. 16. I got a one total. Okay. Eight. Eight. One. I got a two minus four. Okay. I'm gone. Oh, All right. So I love as you uh, trudge into the tunnel. <laughs> You start hearing, it's just like, 
Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> as Jack starts like coughing and loudly, it's getting louder shit. and louder. I have an asthma attack. I had to drop my metal dice on the floor, and that was loud. <laughs> I thought you could say onto your foot for a second. Oh no, like, oh. DM's gonna wake up the sleeping um, man. <laughs> and as you get closer Jack's and closer, you look into uh, a, a circular room where there's four gnolls oh. are sitting around an altar, but these oh, gnolls oh. look a lot bigger and a lot stronger than the ones you faced. Oh, oh an good. All equipped with these three-headed flails. And they're in the middle of just, like, feasting on what seems to be, like, some... Uh, a, a sheep that they stole, or, like, yeah. they just joined from Ooh. a nearby farm. I'm gonna take a break there, I think. And then... Oh, oh, good. Great, because I have to pee so Dad. bad. Hello? Before we take the break... No. No. Okay. No, what's up? <laughs> I just wanted to say, with my fucking 24 stealth, can I, like, make it to the other side of the room without being noticed? Well, I haven't rolled for the perception yet, so I don't know. Okay, that's fair. Um, yeah, so can break I time, we'll be right back. Thanks, back. everybody, for being here so far. Thanks for all the subs and all that stuff. If you're new around here, hit the follow button. Weekly D&D stuff. Uh, every Thursday, we do a talk show. Every Monday, we play games, Divinity, right now. Every Sunday, we play D&D. We'll be right back. Take care. Brush your hair, go get a drink, go stretch and all that stuff, and we'll be right back after a few minutes. Sorry, not sorry. Hello, loves. Hello. 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 What did I, what did I, what did I, what was that? Oh, just, I, I talked about Encanto, so now we don't talk about Bruno is stuck in Ethan's head, and I was like, sorry, not sorry, because it's a banger. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, gamers, we're back. Welcome back. So... You uh, made your way into what seems to be a bit of a den, or, or at least a temporary lair uh, of gnolls. And there's these four large gnolls equipped with um, it's like hide armor and these, these three-headed flails. Um, I'm going to see if they hear you a-coming. They can't not hear me. They would also have to roll natural ones. Mm, but it's they? possible. Do they? I mean, Jack's rolled a one. I was gonna say. Yeah. Not a natural one, though. Just because they don't hear you doesn't mean they won't hear Jack's. Yeah, that, no, we're saying that they won't natural ones. They'd have to basically roll natural one and not hear me. Okay, right, right, right. Um. You all, you know, making your way into that tunnel. Some of you more quiet than others. Um. Who's leading? Me. I'm Davian was leading, and I went in behind him. I was gonna say mm -hmm. Davian or Brooks. Davian, I, would assume. It's gonna be, I assume it's gonna be like Davian, Jax, Elaz, and Brooks, and then. Uh, I'm the trying to sneak to the side. But Wait, I, I thought we were splitting up Kess and Dagon. <laughs> they can still be like. I mean, Kess is invisible, so she's yeah, we're kind of. That's a good little. point. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. She can't bother me if I can't see you. Um, oh, that's a lie. She just like prods you in the back. <laughs> How? Hi, you... sir. Attentive are you to your surroundings? As in my passive perception or just generally going in? Just like, were you going in kind of keeping your eye out for potential traps or anything? Yes, going into a cave like this, absolutely yes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Make a perception check. Seven. As you walk, oh good! You just put your put your foot down, and just you hear this just ding as this oh. this this like bear trap just clasps around your ankle ankle. Uh oh! Um, Ouch! Ow! Take two points of piercing damage just from the thing clamping on your leg, uh, and with that, okay. all four of these gnolls immediately just turn to look at the tunnel. Um, your foot is caught in trap. Two points, you said? Two points, yeah. I would do like I still have a temp HP from yep. earlier? It doesn't go away. No. Oh, it doesn't? Yep. Nope. Doesn't go away. You just keep it forever. Lit. I still have 10 temp HP. Um, and with that, I would like for you all to roll initiative. I get advantage because of a Lazarin's thingy, Majig. Mm hmm. That's. Oh. Thank good. fuck, good. because one of them was a natural one. You're two double, You're two double digit rolls today. That's awesome. My boy. 
My boy. Mm. Okay. The bar is on the floor. <laughs> no. The bar is in Eldalon. We're on our way. <sighs> We're trying. We're on our way. That's enough. We're on a narwhal. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Keep this man away from the <laughs> aquarium. Animal abuse, Peter. He's banned from the aquarium. <laughs> He's banned from SeaWorld. <laughs> Alright, anyone 20 plus? 21? I have a dirty 20. I have 27. Also. Oh, holy oh, shit. shit. Uh, let's one at a time. Davian's that's first. 27 for, sure. for Davian? Yeah. 20 you say for Daigon? No, 21 for, for, for um, me. And Lazarin. For Lazarin. And then okay. I'm a dirty 20. For dirty 20? <laughs> I'm a dirty little 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yours is uh, initiatives plus four, right? Huh? Huh? Uh, I also got a dirty 20, but I'm pretty sure... Dagger Mine's plus four. four. My initiative, yeah. yeah. Okay. For me. Brooks, 20. Uh, Guess and Jax, what do you guys roll? 19. Sorry. 19 for Guess. What did Bolton get? 12. Both on got a natural 20. So 24. Of course he fucking did. Jesus Christ. Everyone's here on like. But was your super roll high natural 20, Jacks? No, it's 19 plus 8. Mm, Alright, so Hawthorne. That's the alert, feet, alert baby. Feet. Hawthorne goes up just first then. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of feet, or I wouldn't have stepped in that trap. True. True. Hawthorne gets to go first. Oh, no battle map for this because DM didn't think we do it. <laughs> Touch, are you okay? My I fucking go. Amazon Alexa. Echo just started fucking piping up. <laughs> no, I uh, don't have a map for this. I, I, she I, wants to be involved. I for gore. I for gore. Um, so Hawthorne. What does, uh, uh, what does Hawthorne do? Hawthorne is invisible and hanging around Brooks. And he is gonna hold uh, his action to shoot his bow until one of the party goes first, like attacks. Okay. Okay, uh, Davian. Um. So, uh, uh, p paint a picture for me. How wide is this tunnel? How far away are they? The tunnel's about 15 foot wide. Okay. Uh, and they're about 40 feet away from you. Right off the bat, Onu's not here, so I'm just going to Hunter's Mark, the closest one. Okay. So it's your Hunter's Mark number one. It's easier that way. Fuck it. So we go. Which is a bonus action, but it's casting a spell, so I can't cast another spell. Mm -hmm. Can I take that back? All right. Can I just undo that? Can I just pretend I didn't cast Hunter's Mark? Sure. I would like to just cast Entangle. <laughs> I just gotta okay. cast Entangle. Okay. Um, but this actually is using a spell slot because I already used my bow to cast it. So yes. yeah, twenty foot square. Yeah, I'll cast it right at them. Strength save. It's pretty low DC. Sure they'll be fine. But I'm giving it a shot. Strength save of uh, thirteen. Strength save of DC. Thirteen. Dirty twenty. Thirteen six. Yes. 14. One of them is entangled. Yeah, one of them is entangled. He is restrained. And... Um... Okay. That's my action. I'm still in this trap, correct? I can't correct. move more than five feet. Uh... Yeah. <sighs> and it's an action that's trying for yourself, so... Yes, it is, yeah. Um... I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. Uh, Elasrin. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, I will... Hello? How close together are they? Um, Because I want to... There's about 10 feet between them. Uh, motherfucker. <laughs> so that means with a moonbeam, I can only get one, right? Because it's, it's, a, it's a five foot radius. So I can only get one Correct. at a time. That's fine. The one that, uh, does any of them look like bigger than the others, or like looks no, like it might be the leader? Pretty, uh... That's four. Yeah, that's four. That's four. Yeah. Oh, oh holy fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I mean, it doesn't change what I'm gonna do. But... Four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like, fuck. In my brain, I had three for some reason. Um, 
Uh, just the the one on the f what one got entangled. Uh, three of them got entangled. Oh, three of them got entangled. Yes. What? No, oh, no, no one, one, one. I'm one. I fucking one got oh, entangled. One, yeah. One, one, one. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Which one, which one got entangled? Which one got... Uh, number three. <laughs> Wait. So In the, the order. Further, further back into the. Into <laughs> okay. The thank you. <laughs> I want to know where. Yeah, no, uh, I fucking whatever. Make a map for this is my bad. It's, um, whatever one is like kind of central. I'm just gonna put my mean moonbeam just. Okay. Um. Uh, on it. It has to make a. Uh, I think it makes it now. Uh, it just says when a creature enters the spells area for the first time on a turn. On a turn. Or yeah. starts so, its yeah. turn there. Yeah. So yeah, make a uh, a con save, please. Nine. It fails. So it takes full damage. And it takes uh. 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage, very good. Um, yeah, this one, this one, null, um, entangled, and now also just this fucking beam of light just scorching. Oh, I didn't want to hit one that was entangled. I wanted to hit one of the other ones. I did say that. I did say. I did say. I wanted to hit one that wasn't entangled. Just Fine. saying. I did say that. Yeah, well, you say a lot of things. True. Okay. Most Tracks that dumb. one of the other ones, yeah. yeah, just skin getting absolutely scorched and singed by this this this, this bright burning light. Anything else? Uh oh, you that? Mm, no, I'll just I'll like back up like ten feet. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum, Take my turn. Me? Yes. Uh, is, so is there one that's entangled, but not in the moonbeam? The yes. one that is entangled is not in the moonbeam. Yeah. Great. I'm gonna go to that one, because I have 40 feet of movement, so okay. I can get there fine. Sure. And gonna try and poke him in the chest with the spear, like before. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, that does hit, yeah. See, all the boring shit always hits. Like, it's fuck. <laughs> fuck me, dude. Um... Eight points of piercing damage. Points of piercing damage, very good. And then we'll spend a key point for a flurry of blows. And as the spear stuck in him, quickly let go to slash slash before I pick it up again. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, I rolled an eighteen on both the dice, so eighteen plus six, twenty-four yep. to hit. Hell yeah. Pick pick up. And I need d4s for this shit. I can't wait for my martial arts die to go up, bro, and roll like d6s to hit these people. Um, yikes. Okay. Um, the first blow is five points of slashing damage, and the second blow is six points of slashing damage. Eleven points total. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Very good. So you just run in. Go to the one that's entangled. There's these like these like roots and vines just like grabbing at him. And you just first jam your spear into it, and then just with with both your you go know, for the your, eyes, your claws just. Shh, shh. Um, He's gonna have some nice scars on his face if he survives. Yeah, it's uh, good shit. Anything else? Nope. Queen That's my turn. Uh, so you're just actively giving this guy street cred. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I mean only if he lives though. Uh, Future street cred, yeah, but. Okay. Um. So one's in a moonbeam. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the is entangled and being in, is entangled and completely being fucked up, like and they're all like ten feet apart. <laughs> by Daigon. And there's two more, two of them that have not been uh, engaged with anything. Okay. Yet. Um, I am going to go to one of the two that has not been engaged yet. Okay. And I'm going to. Bonus action, rage, mm -hmm. and then I am going to use my attack action to attempt to grapple it. Go for it. Make an athletics check. With advantage because I'm raging. Well, one of those was a natural one. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one is a 23. 23? 
Uh, 19. So yeah, you successfully grapple. You can you can grapple a creature that is one size larger. One size like. larger, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. If you, success, huge, you successfully count, grapple one of the gnolls. Perfect. I'm just gonna fucking like wrap one of my arms. My my uh my left arm. I'm just gonna wrap it around and get ready to like pick him up and fucking throw him or some shit. Okay. We'll find out what I do next turn. Sounds good. Alrighty. Um, Kess. <sighs> oh, I hate that I got dragged into this. Um. <laughs> Same. Oh, this is so stupid. I would think she'd party. be here let's for this. Away. It's a chance to flex more. Look how good I am at magic, and let's fuck shit up. Like. No, let's just run away. That is not her mood today. <laughs> <laughs> um. She's gonna. Ah, oh, shit! I forgot about Hawthorne's held action. So he oh, shoots. Yep. The one that's entangled. Sure. Tries to anyway. 16 to hit. Hits. Uh, one damage roll. Uh, con. Natural save. 19. He's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, Kess is going to shoot that one with Eldritch Blast. Cause Go for it. Life. Fuck not. 19 to hit. Hits. Uh, what might be 10? Uh, that is, uh, four force damage and two thunder. Four force four and three. two thunder? Three thunder. Three, three thunder. thunder? Three thunder. Okay. All right. So this guy that's entangled is uh, definitely, uh, the one hating his life most right now. <laughs> yeah. Quickly just have a look that's it. here. That's it? Yep. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Um, that means that it is now one of the the only Noel's turn that is not engaged with anyone. And he sees... Let's see. I mean, Daigon and Brooks are the only ones that like actually entered the chamber. Mm -hmm. And he sees that Brooks is one of his boys grapple so he's going to assist his his ally uh bring and multi-attack you brooks bring it bitch uh you sure about that you sure you want that yeah i don't think you Go understand the, the the direness of the situation but okay i might but brooks doesn't um he's going to swipe at you twice with his claws and then also try to bite you okay not using so... his three-headed flaily thing um no they did not have them wielded they they have them hanging oh. by their sides oh. but you you, oh, you caught them you. while they weren't like so the, the, they were eating yeah uh so the first one no, is uh, 16 to hits hits second one is a dirty 20 that hits and the bite is a eight that doesn't hit so the uh two claw attacks hits but the bite misses okay so you take uh, 18 half to 9 points of slashing damage from the claw swipes and as cool. he's trying to just plant his teeth into your uh, into your into your body you manage to just kind of like push him off just just on time and make just get enough distance between you and the mouth holding my axe uh, in his hand but just like flipping him off as I hold on to my <laughs> axe grappling the other guy and uh, that is its turn um the um, guy in the moonbeam. Does he take damage again? Because it's his turn, or how does it work? Uh, I mean, it, I'll 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 read it out to you because mm -hmm. I, I it's fucking moonbeam's weird. Uh, so it says when a creature enters the spell area for the first time mm -hmm. on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain and must make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah, he's starting his turn in the moonbeam, so he takes damage. Yeah, that's all. Oh, uh, make so con save. Yeah, con save with them. Yeah. Uh, ooh, uh, eighteen. That saves, it takes half damage. Okay. So nine halved. Nine halved, so that's four. Four. He whips out his uh, flail and is going to... Run up to Daigon, because there's two of them on Brook, so he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go attack this other one. Um, And is going to multi-attack you and uh, hit you once with his flail and tries to try okay. to bite you as well. Okay. 
And he's going to position himself so that he's flanking uh, with uh, his uh, ally. So for the flail, that is a 21 to hit. Yep. And the bite is a ooh, 25 to hit. Yeah. Okay. So the I should flail say so. is eight points of slashing damage for the flail hit. Yay for temp HP. Uh, and the bite is four points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Ooh. What's my... Con eight. Eight, so oh, you God. also take... Uh, oh, only three. Three points of poison damage as well. Okay. Gnarly. Yeah. Uh, yeah brush that the teeth is in a while, huh? It's turn. Um, Jax. Are there any objects laying around them in the cave? Uh, give me a little more detail. What are you looking for? I don't know. Maybe like something like fist size, like loose rocks or something. Yeah, some pebbles or... and shit. Like yeah, like some pieces of anything, uh... anything like like a, like a nice little stone. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast catapult, and a little mini catapult pops down next to the rock. The rock like levitates in the catapult, and it's gonna sling it at the. Uh, uh, Noel in the moonbeam. Uh, that guy is no longer in the moonbeam. He walked fuck. out of it. Well, he, I'm not shooting it at him. So, what? fuck him. Uh, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Dex save, alright. Mm. Uh, that's a natural one. <laughs> alright, he takes full damage. <laughs> oh. Let's just fucking, fucking stop, you guys are idiots. <laughs> That gift, though. That gift is so fucking, fucking good. Dude. <laughs> That's such a fucking good gift. Um, he takes... 17 points of bludgeoning? 17? Yeah, bludgeoning. Okay. Yeah, 17. Okay, very good. As this rock just gets pelted at it, it just, like, hits him in the back of the head, and he just... Nice. And then just zones back in on, on the fact that there is a, a cat person in front of him. And, uh, uh, we're 40 feet away? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna stay 40 feet away. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Alright. Um, the Fang of Yinogu, as they're called, that is entangled, uh, uh is going to, with his advantage, like try and multi attack uh, Daigon. He's not gonna get his flail out, he's just gonna try and swipe his claws at you. Okay. Uh, two claws and a bite. Okay. Right, with, with this advantage. So the first claw attack is a 12 to hit. Nope. Second claw attack is a 12 to hit. Nope. And the bite attack is a 12 to hit. Wow. No. <laughs> three sixes. <laughs> okay. Nice. Whoa, three sixes? Curse. Oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, shit. They, they really are, are demon, demon uh -oh. emotions. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, and that's its turn. The one grappled by Brooks is just going to not care that he's grappled, and he's just going to try and dig his claws in Brooks and have a, have a bite and just do his thing. Okay. So two claw Arr. attacks and a, a bite. First claw attack is a 24 to hit. Yeah. Second claw attack is a 15 to hit. No. Bite attack is a 16 to hit. Just. So one claw and one bite. Boom. Boom. Uh, for the claw attack, you take six points of slashing damage, half to three. Yep. For the bite attack, you take seven, half to three, piercing damage. Yep. Uh, and I need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 19. 19, uh, so you don't take the poison damage. All right, cool. Cool. Uh, it is now Hawthorne's turn. You're muted. What? He's, he's going to shoot at the same one. <laughs> Okay. It's the one that's entangled, yes. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14 just hits. Oh, fuck yeah. It's a con save. Yeah, we'll try to have like a plus 9. Con save. Uh, natural 20. Huh. <laughs> Hawthorne dies. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. That's his turn. That's his turn. Um, <laughs> one piercing damage. Oh, I'm I'm also gonna shoot the entangled one because advantage. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Mm, 
that is a 17 plus 7, 24 to hit. Yep. Give me that sweet, sweet 1d8 plus 3 for 10 points of piercing points. damage. Pretty good. And uh, that'll be my turn. Loki. Uh, Elazarin. Uh, who? There's two on Brooks, right? Yeah, and two on Diagon. Oh, it's in Diagon. The one that was previously the Moonbeam, can I get it? Is that? Is there a way that I assume I can't like get both of them in and not like hit Diagon no, or Brooks, right? No, but you can right? make it so that you can get one and just kind of like have him on the edge so that Diagon yeah, isn't yeah, yeah, yeah. affected by it. But if you want both yeah. of them, you're, you're going to hit either Diagon hit or Brooks, both. depending on... Okay, that's cool. I'll just go up to the one that I, I hit previously with it okay. and just... So I think I us make a concept again, because yep. it's... Uh, natural answer. 18. Yeah, take half then. Yeah, because moving, so moving Moonbeam is free, right? That doesn't cost... It's anything. an action. It yeah, yeah, it doesn't cost any like, spell slots, it's just <gasps> it's there. No. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna work tonight! Let's go! Because it's snowing! Wait, Sorry. Snowing? Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, but fuck, dude, I'm so happy. Oh, so we, don't mean... have to, we don't have to end at 6, so... Help! Oh, if things go longer. Cool. Oh, okay. nice. Nice. If oh, fucking! That's pogmite damage. Just nineteen so points of damage. Nineteen. Half. Half to uh, nine. To nine. Even sorry, I got optimistic. <laughs> it's all good. With my halving. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's, he's, he's looking pretty rough. He's looking pretty rough. And then I can't fucking do anything else. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay where I am. I'm just fair enough. Uh, Dagon. The one, the one I was fucking up is still alive, right? He's still there. Yes. Then yeah, we'll just keep on doing the thing. The two, Another... the two gnolls around you look pretty rough. Like, one of them is being singed by a moonbeam, the other one is still entangled. Whereas the the ones around Brooks are like, are still big vibing, beating yeah, up this, I'm, this, this I'm still going to finish finish the one that I, I started doing, because I still mm -hmm. think better to try and eliminate one at a time than... Yeah. Ah, that didn't go in the dice tray, because I have a dice tray now. You have advantage now. because uh, the boy is <gasps> still I have entangled. advantage? Yeah, because he's entangled oh, still. Pog. Good, because the first one, well, neither of them are great. First one was a five. Second one is a nine. Plus six is 15. It's. Hey, thank God for advantage. Take the spear out and then just go for a big <laughs> across uh, for 12 points of piercing damage. 12 points of piercing damage, very good. Yep. And because there's a lot of them here, I'll go ahead and use a key point for patient defense to take the dodge action as a bonus. Okay, cool. And that's my turn. Ready, Brooks. I am going to use my action mm -hmm. to make a shove attack against the one that I'm currently grappling. Okay. Uh, so it's a strength athletics versus strength athletics or acrobatics. Uh, 10. 10? Mm -hmm. uh, natural 15, so. Uh, and I'm going to choose to put it prone. So it is now prone. Okay. Uh, still grappled. Uh, sure. <laughs> so it has zero movement and can't get up unless it breaks the grapple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it is prone, I'm going to use my bonus action to just knee it in the face twice. Flurry of blows. Sure. Advantage. With advantage. Yep. Because it's prone. <clears throat> Uh, the first one's not great. That's a 14. Uh, just hits. Perfect. Lit. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Seven points of bludgeoning. Second one. Natural 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Eight points of bludgeoning damage. All right. Very good. Cool. So I'm just pinning this one to the ground with my hand axe and just kneeing it in the face. Hell yeah. Alrighty, okay. that's Brooks done. Kess. Uh, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast the one that was entangled. Eldritch is still alive. Eldritch okay. Blast. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Fuck no, that's a natural one. Uh oh. No. You wait, you have advantage. Go. You have advantage because she's entangled. Oh, yeah. okay, wait. I'll please be that one. Oh, fuck yeah. 22. Oh, hoo, hoo. Way it. better. <laughs> That's making 10. <laughs> <laughs> 8, 4 damage, and 3 thunder. 11 <laughs> damage total? Yep. Alright, and yeah, that puts down the first of four uh, beefy looking gnolls. 
you just hear Kes go, finally. Oh, <laughs> I hate this. All right, anything else? Nope. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, the fang of Yinogu that is not prone is just going to try and fucking wail on Brooks. Still, he's still there. He's vibing. So two claws and a bite attack. Bring it. Uh, 20... That hits. Yeah, I was going to say. 20 hits. 17. <laughs> just hit. hits, yeah. Well, yeah, hits. And a 16 to hit. Just hits. Damn. So all three hits. So two claws and a bite. And I can't say. Come uh, through, bro. Up, 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 up. So you take... Ooh, my lord. 13, 16, 22... 25 points of physical damage, half to 12. Yep. And I need you to make a con save. Uh, dirty 20. I am bloodied, though. Yeah, you don't take any poison damage, though. So there is that. Um, the guy Moonbeam needs to make a con save because he's still in the Moonbeam. Yes. Natural oh, 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, he fell, so he takes... Oh, 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Woo, baby. He's not looking too good. Yo, it doesn't have to be a shape changer, right? Hmm? Oh, yeah. No shape changer, right? Just out of uh, curiosity. No. Okay. No. <laughs> I forget to Just ask. No, change, no changeling. Just well, mo case. Moonbeam makes them all instantly drop form if they're in it. No, they, uh, this is what they need to do. It's worth an ask. There's a bit of a process to how gnolls are made, but this is, this is what they look like. There's, they're not hiding anything. Um, <laughs> it just turns into the regular man. <laughs> <laughs> I was cursed. Help. So this guy is uh, yeah, just going to wail on Dyke and two claw. Uh, no, this is this is the guy that took his flail out. So one flail attack and a bite. To me, yes. Disadvantage because of my patient defense. Hog. Mm, eight plus three is eleven to hit. Miss. And so it's only for that one attack. So the rest of them are at normal, right? Oh, okay. It's just... Uh, I think that's how it works. That's... No, patient defense is... You take the dodge action. All it, it's attack, the whole turn. Oh, oh, it's a dodge oh, action yeah. everything until my next turn? Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that? One is, yeah. oh. that one is sub 10, so it also misses then. Nice. Okie dokie. Jax. All right. Um, I have much I can really do with this fucking armor. Uh, I guess I'm just going to shoot a little lightning launcher shot at uh, the guy that keeps getting moonbeamed. Okay. Fuck him. You're fucking kill stealing some of Ben. <laughs> <laughs> what does this help me? That's a natural 20. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> you. Hey, it's only 1d6. Okay. Plus 5. Um. Jesus, I almost rolled it. I rolled it out of my dice box, believe it or not. Jesus. Um, that is 4 plus 5 is rolled 9 out of points my of lightning damage. 9 points of lightning damage. And as you just zap prick yes. this guy. Just, 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 KP, bro. She very like cartoon esque. Dead. Skeleton, Boom. normal form. Skeleton, normal form. Just <laughs> <laughs> and he eventually also just wow. and collapses while it's his body enough. is just still being fucking like singed by the by the moonbeam. <laughs> so that's uh, uh, two that's down, two to go. That's my turn. Okay, okay. Give Jax like a thumbs up as he kills it, but you <laughs> so can is see there, the pain. Is there one like, left the on Brooks and one left <laughs> yeah. on, no, on me? Both on or you no? are dead. Both on me. The okay. two on Brooks are still very much alive. Got it. One of which is got it, got it. being held prone, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is now Hawthorne's turn. Uh, he's going to try and shoot. How many are left? Two? Two. One of them is prone. Uh, he'll try and shoot the one that is not prone. Okay. Big brain. Well, learning the indie rules. <laughs> uh, twenty-one to hit. That hits. So it's one point of damage and a con save, correct? Yep. Um, thirteen plus two, fifteen. Nope. He is fine. Okay. Just and that's it. Damage. That's it, Davian. Okay. Um, now that no one is entangled, I'm going to Hunter's Mark. Uh. You said it, there are two on Diagon? No, there's two no. on Brooks. The two on Diagon are dead. Okay, I'll, I'll hunt his mark. Whichever of the two is looking the roughest. Uh, well, that would. There's one prone and there's one is, that isn't prone. The one that isn't prone, then. Figured as much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and yeah, I'll, I'll shoot his ass. Go for it. And get it. Oh, which is a natural 17. It's a 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. And with Hunter's mark, that's an extra D6. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, max damage. Nice. Oh, Hold on, nice. which is... 17 points of piercing damage. Very good. All right. And that will be my turn. All righty. Uh, Elazrin. I will move the moonbeam over the one that is in... Uh... Uh, actually, fuck entangled it. with Jacks, uh, Brooks. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, yeah, the one, yeah, the one that isn't, yeah. you know, the one that Stop. isn't being held prone by Brooks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's a oh, loving embrace. <laughs> oh, yeah, concept please. Eleven plus two, thirteen. Fails. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Sixteen points of damage. Sixteen points of damage. Fuck me. Okay. Yeah, it's two d ten. Yeah, Moomin is uh, Moomin fucks, and the Moomin fact that you know. Fuck. It keeps up, it stays up, you know, like you can just fucking yeah. sh zoom around. Um, yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yes. nope, that'll be my turn. Okie dokie, Dagon. Uh, go over to whatever one is closest to me of the two on Brooks uh, and try well, and... It's, it, it's your pick. One that is now currently in the moonbeam or one that is being held prone? I'll do the one that's being held prone because I the moonbeam, I'm like, I don't know if that'll hurt me if I get close to it. So let's just keep my distance. Do I get advantage because he's being held prone? Yes. Try and just go for a <laughs> jam the spear into him. Impaled. There we go. Natural 20! Ooh, okay, Woo! there we go. Finally. Okay, roll good. Roll good. Don't roll a one of the damage dice. I'll take it. Um, That is 10 plus spear. 14 points of piercing damage. 14 points of piercing damage. Very good. Anything else? Uh, so being held prone, so he's being held on the ground and he's like yes. laying down. Yes. Go for while the spear's in, just go for a kick. I don't know, strike with the claws out. So also just kind of like step okay. a little bit. Yep. We'll attack with Natural damage. 20 again! Oh my god! Hey! <laughs> hey but it's only nice. a d4. It's only a d4. So I've been rolling ones on my d4s all day. Come on, the one time. Eh, I'll still take it. It's not a one, but it's a two. <laughs> Two plus four. Wait, so that double, so four plus four, eight points of of slashing damage. Very kick. good. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah. Brooks. Uh. Fuck. I guess I'm gonna keep wailing the guy under me and hope that I don't die. <laughs> Friend. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hand axe first. Uh. Fifteen. Uh, hits, yep. Perfect. So that is... Uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then... Uh, fuck it, why not? Uh, flurry blows. Go for it. Just knee him in the face again. Natural 20. It's a small damage die though, so it won't be much. This man's really needing a dog uh, in the face, eight. huh? 13. <laughs> 13. Points of bludgeoning damage. That is... Uh, he has 13 HP left, so there you go. Oh, oh yeah. shit. That uh, leaves only the one in the moonbeam right behind you. Uh, uh, good luck, guys. <laughs> I mean, he's on the edge of the moonbeam, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah so I'll, I'll fucking just punch him and hope it doesn't see my hand off. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, 15 again. Hits. Uh, for eight points of bludgeoning damage. Eight points of bludgeoning damage. And I am going to move 50 feet away from this motherfucker. That sounds good. 50 and he can't do damage. shit because of a flurry of blows, so I have the benefit of the disengage action and an extra 10 foot movement. Is, uh, Discord fucked? Yeah, Discord fucked. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a bit Are we back? Hello? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. It's still not great. Region change? Your, yeah, I'll yeah, region change. Region change. I can do it, Dutch, if you want. That's why I don't really doing it. Okay. I just don't want you to fuck stream, but. I love like it. I already doing it. Hello? 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 There you go. No longer oh, people, go. robot men. Better. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I. Because I flurry a blow, I fucking. Get disengage and an extra. Oh, yeah, you're drunken. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, just backing up. <sighs> Sounds good. Okay. Um... 
Kess. Uh, I'll shoot that one with Eldritch Blast. Go for it. Is there one left? Dirty 20 to hit. Yup. Five. Force damage. Three thunder. Okay. So eight damage total. Is that your turn? Mm, yep. It is now this guy's turn. Uh, <laughs> Moonbeam. Uh, natural five plus two, so seven. Ooh, full damage. This Moonbeam is fucking up. Yeah, this Moonbeam is MVP. <laughs> Six. Six? Nice. Yeah. This guy will like Boy, start wait, to just yeah. make a cl make a claw attack towards Daigon, but in the process you can just see him just his entire it's like body ghostly catches white fire flames. and just just burns up. And cool. that is it. That is I will four. uh stop Get the moonbeam. I will stop the moonbeam and just What's up? I'm gonna try and free myself. Oh, got rid of the corpse, we're not gonna get paid for that one. No, it just burns up. It's very singed. It's just oh, okay. very, very much burnt. I will um, you try and okay? break yourself out of the trap you said, uh, Davian? Yeah. I think that I, is, uh, oh. Can I help him? Quickly, hunting trap. Uh, the strength check, please. You said there was the. I, I will right? assist since I'm right next to it. Yes, so. there's an yeah. altar in the middle. Make, oh, a, make, a, make, make a strength check with advantage. Hold on, guys. Oh, natural 20. Because like, oh, so, nice. yeah, hey. I'm just, so familiar with these things, you know. Together, I use them together with uh, Jax, you just kind of yeah. open up the, the thing wide enough for your foot to easily lift out. Do, do Ow! You keep it? With the trap, no, these things are heavy as fuck. I'm already carrying two. I'll throw it in my bag. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, just add a hunting trap to your uh, inventory. What was that, uh, Laura? Will... And or um, I'd like to check out the altar. Okay. Is the... As you approach the altar, you can see mm -hmm. again this depiction of this three-headed flail, mm -hmm. uh, and you can see a uh, like a, a, a text scratched into a stone tablet. But I do not think you speak abyssal. I do not. No. I'm gonna. But I was going. Comprehend languages with my. Book. I'm gonna. I will uh, say to the group. Mm -hmm. Anybody able to read this? I, I, I can. You can just have a read for Get me. Get out of my way. Okay. I literally do not move. <laughs> 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 I just move the. Is it tablet that can like picked up, or is it like engraved into the? It's like uh, it's like set on like a little stand, little, little stand on the. Oh, the let's way. just move the stand, like or like move it just slightly to like the right of me, so Kes can read it. But I'm just gonna stay where I am. <laughs> I'm gonna use the fucking comprehend languages thing. The book that you have, yes. Yep. All right. You read, and the text is as follows. The first gift is hunger. It is his blessing. It is our call to bring death. The second gift is death. Death proves our strength. Death purges our fear. The third gift is fear. We fear that we will fail him. We fear the onset of hunger. Do you repeat this out? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Does that... I uh, wish oh, interjecting things like, hunger is a dumb gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like, like throughout the thing. Just does like... that... Like, I assume I don't have like a huge understanding of this god. Like, I know of them, but don't have like... Does that ring any bells like anything else I know? Um, yeah. You okay. know that most gnolls, and especially the ones that worship yeah. Hinogu, are obsessed with feeding. Right. Eating... Just, just constantly eating, 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 feeding. And that is also how... Um, in rituals, gnolls are created is they typically dog-like creatures, much like hyenas for instance, they just mm. over overeat in this like weird ritualistic way, and then they just their body explodes and this gnoll is okay. born from within. Um, um, yeah. Is there anything that looks like on this altar that they were mid trying to do Well, they're eating ritual. their sheep. They're eating sheep. They so were still, they're just, like they're still just consuming. Yeah. It's, and that that sheep does that. <laughs> obviously, it's been like torn um, apart. I guess quite check a bit. For me, actually. Okay. Sure. Oh, fuck's sake! God, this is the thing I'm supposed to be good at. You break. Six. Well, you all you <laughs> can recall, and based on you know hearing what this text said, yeah. is that you know that servants of Yunogu were commanded to conduct live sacrifices in wilderness regions upon stone altars, much like this. Okay. I want to, I with, with Jax, I want to collect up the flails that they had, because they seem pretty symbolic and important. 
Um, you said that with the four... heads off too. <laughs> with the four four flails. Oh uh, yeah, one of them okay. each. I'm just gonna give them to Jax because he has the bag of holding. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, and can I just like, can I search the bodies for any valuables as well? Yeah, sure, go for it. Is that investigation? Yes. So I get advantage with my spectacles. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, natural twenty. There you go. Yay! Hey. Uh, you find a another piece of text. This time written on uh, a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. uh, written in the same text, uh, in the same language as the tablets, which you, I don't think you I'll read. Just pass it over missile. to. Uh, I'll just pass it to Cass. I will read it. Uh, before we do that, you also find five gold pieces and four more pieces of onyx worth five gold each. Okay. Uh, you read the Thank text, Cass? Yeah. As my connection to my lord deepens, I leave my old concerns behind. His hunger is all that matters. It is greater than me, greater than us all. It's his mark. He made us. He drives us. He eats what we eat. He kills what we kill. He will come if we eat well. He will come if we kill well. He will come if we eat well. He will come if we kill well. Rinse, repeats, 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 repeats. Um, and we shall be. He and he shall we be. Never alone, never afraid, never hungry. We shall, he shall, on a yeah. port. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you, can, you can definitely tell this is just like mad ramblings of, 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 of one of these uh, worshippers. Uh, I just look at the others. Ah, they were crazy. Yeah, Here we go. I mean, are there any like? Is there any like, I, from, like any other caravans they might have like looted or something? Or? Um, no. Okay. You can see a lot of like scratchings of like different things they have probably have sacrificed here and eaten. Bones and, a lot of, like, and shit as well. Blood and bones and stuff like that. But there's no. Cave like, doesn't go any further, does it? No, that's okay. just that's it. It's just like this. They don't. They don't give a hoot a about material possessions. Not really. Okay. All they care about just is eating things. Eating. Well. I'm glad we weren't eaten, and now, you know, there will be plenty more people that also won't be eaten. So we can, you know, job well done, everybody, and it wasn't too far. I think mm, it might be. Was, was it worth it? This is the worst of case of muddy shoes I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> My heart aches for all of your muddy shoes. Nah, I'm talking about Brooks. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, did, I it, did, it, did it or well, did it not use work? prestigitation and... Fix your fucking muddy shoes. Did it or did it not? Well, we're about to walk you back. All of you hurry the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't want to hurry up. Well, you came, didn't you? So well, we worked. could have spent another 15 minutes riding along the road. Right. Well, well you were dying. I wanted to watch. We could have done, but we didn't. And we've done a good thing here today. You well, I feel like I'm dying this. right now, to be honest. Not good. There's some weird, scary, big <laughs> gnolls will, uh, might be worth go up a to, bit of scratch. I'll go up to Brooks and I'll cure wounds him. How much okay. do I get? DM, how far are we from Eldalon? Like, like a couple hours. Ten. A few hours, yeah. Couple I mean, this, this is this is gonna be. And then it's pretty close to the city, so I guess, yeah. Yeah. How much could we? Ten. Ten. Hmm? Ten. Uh, oh, fuck. I'm no longer bloodied. Just. <laughs> Level one. The Level one. Yeah, let's go find the horses. And uh, once I get back outside, I'll uh, whistle and Onu comes down. Back to like 30 feet ahead. Mm -hmm. And we'll make our way back to the cart. Righty. Uh, when we're in the cart, I want to pass the vessel Sai gave me to Brooks and disappear into it before I let go. The vessel Sai gave you? Yeah. Are you going to tell me anything of this? She's just like, I'll see you guys later. I have to go talk to someone. <laughs> Shit. Fuck me, what okay. the fuck? <laughs> I would like everybody to deafen, yeah. God damn it, you bitch. Fuck okay. You One session. One, that's all I asked. Nope. So you disappear into the vessel that you got given to you by Sai. And you appear not in a place you thought you would appear. You are on something that resembles a beach. Water, like, like, like an ocean kind of... And it's like this, like beach, like like wind, kind of blowing by. And you can see in the distance, arms crossed, this tall jinn, light blue, pale skin, uh, long white beard, kind of like flows and kind of ever moving. Um, 
this 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 like long tied back uh white hair also like the ends of like the ponytail and stuff just ever ever moving um wearing this uh these these like silk this like silk tunic all very light and very very much constantly he appears as if he's constantly moving even when he's just kind of standing still right now he's just overlooking the water with his arms crossed what do you do hi dad he turns to face you kind of eyes you up and down so it seems my friend was successful <laughs> yes. This is weird. <laughs> Did not expect to to deal with this today, but here we are. I suppose you have questions. A couple. Feel free. Why did you contact me now? Well, didn't contact you per se, I just passed along a message, but... You... You know, it's not a coincidence that your granddad found you that day. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he was just pranking me, god damn. I am very bad at relationships, mm, familiar, friendly, love, all of those things don't particularly fall under a skill set that I possess. Nevertheless, it does not mean I don't care. So I've kept an eye on you, and when I heard, when I saw you were troubled and you know needed help I made sure that there was someone there for you to help you but someone better than me more capable of forming a bond with someone I'm sure you yourself possess some familiarities when it comes to those traits right? I've been watching your struggle to understand your friends or the people you travel with right now and definitely see that the apple has not fallen very far. Hmm. I'm more likened that to differences in culture. But I suppose it's true enough. Well, this is a culture maybe, but with all the lying. That's <laughs> what I was taught. We grow up lying. Regardless, I am um, when I saw heard that you decided to leave home to travel a different plane. I kept my tabs on you, and Sai owed me a favor. And you know how we do, as is our, in our being, is a favor for a favor, you know? As genies grant wishes, yes, but... Um, I met Sai when he was gravely injured, and he would have died, saved his life, but in the process, he became being similar to you, one of my Ganassi. And in exchange for me saving his life, I told him, you owe me a favor, and one day I'll call to collect, which he has now done. I merely wanted to clarify that 
even though we haven't met. I... it's nothing to do with you. I just figured you would be better off without. But obviously, the longer I've watched and I've seen you grow up, and, and now you're doing all of this, this dangerous traveling, and quite well, don't get me wrong, it um, made me realize that the line of work you're in right now, every day could be your last, and wanted us to at least meet once. Right? And it's up to you whether you want to Want this to be the first and final time, or perhaps there's more, I don't know. Hmm. Sure, there's more of you that you have to ask of me. I expect her to get slapped in the face, honestly. I thought about it. Then... Rosmu talked to me the other day. Something's made more sense. It's just not in our nature to stay in one place, to form relationships and bonds. It's just not something meant for people, beings, enjoy, and for that matter. That's what he said. I've tried. Just always ended up not working out, you know? It makes a little bit more sense now. With all the difficulty I've had with my friends. What happened? Mm -mm. Well, yeah. Well, obviously, you get that from my side of the family, I suppose. Thanks. Thanks, but hey, so you get your looks from my side of the family too, which is... That's fair. Not to say that your mother True. wasn't beautiful, she was, but... <clears throat> she was not as appreciative of my appearance. Yeah, I suppose she didn't take very well. Nah. That was a lot of flinching. When's the last time you, uh... Last time I talked to or seen her was when I left. I was... can't really send a letter. It's <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been for her. Remind me, did you... You snuck off, did you? Yes. Tell her you was, you know... No. I didn't tell anyone. I figured I'd be stopped. Well... You can see him kind of scratching his neck. And, and his eyes kind of twitch. Make an inside check? Actually, what's your passive insight? Your passive insight. 16. 16. Ah. <laughs> 16. Oh boy. As he scratches his neck, uh, you can see that where he's scratching upon, like, and, like, you can see him kind of flinching when he does. You can see certain markings, kind of, like, in his, like, in his neck. And his face, like, it seems like it's hurting. You're okay? I'll be alright, I'll be fine. Um, if you want. I've been reconsidering my, my way of life as of late, and you are not the only child I've paused. <coughs> That's a good way of putting it. But. but you are the only child I've helped create that is more Jin than not. 
which is why I wanted to try and seek you out and meet you at least. And while I'm at it, um, you want, I could try and see if I could contact your mother. I don't even know what I'd say to her. Oh. When you do, and he extends his hand to you, and it's just kind of like, as you kind of get closer to him, you realize how big he is. Like, he is like three, four times your size. Towering over you, very wide. Uh, a lot bigger than, than Rosemu as well. But you don't know whether that is because Rosemu chooses to appear smaller when in the vessel with you, or he's also yeah. this fuck of mass massive. But like, he's big. Um, And he just kind of like hands you this... Um... This small, like, crystal jug. This is a more permanent version of, of the thing Sai handed you. Um, I can't promise I'll always be there if you pop in. But whenever you have something to say to me or a message to, you know, that you want to reach me, you can always just write it down and... But to leave it here for me, and I'll make sure to get to it eventually. So when you do figure out, if you do figure out, whether you want your mother to, you know, hear from you or or not, you could just leave me a message and I'll... And he, again, scratches his neck, and just like his eyes twitch. You can now see now that he's closer to you, you can see that where... Where he's scratching, like, the, his neck, which is normally, like, this, this, like, pale, very light blue. These markings are, like, almost, like, black and dark green. How long has it been? I mean, obviously, for me, it's been, like, 120 years. But I know the Fate Wild Time changes. Well, but how long has it been since what? Well, since you disappeared, mm. so I guess, yeah. Well, Feywild time works a little weirdly, but for her, two hundred odd, maybe. Mm. It's been it's been a while. I'm not proud of it, and I'm not proud of, of, of that aspect of, of my being, but... A long time ago, I decided it was no point trying to fight it. It's in the nature of the beast, and the beast, uh, the beast does what it, what it does, you know, instinct and whatnot. Mm. I... To apologize for not being there to help raise you, you know, spend time with you growing up. I do regret it, I do. But I hope that, you know, with however long you have left, you're willing to maybe. Well, I'm not going to ask you to call me father or whatever, but at least, you know, try and become friends would be kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Get to know each other a little better. Yeah. Perhaps I could teach you a couple more tricks. Ooh, that would be good. Although, your grandfather is much better teacher than I will ever be. <laughs> I do have a couple tricks up my sleeve myself. For instance, boys in need of more tricks. <clears throat> Has he taught you how to create vessels? No. I think I could teach you down the line. That could be useful. Would require you to grow a little more stronger, to tap further into 
the Jin side of your heritage, but potential is there. I can feel it. Yeah, I. It's strange. I always felt more elven at home, and then I left, and now that seems more like a footnote. It's because, obviously, you live in a realm like the Feywild, where there's magic galore. You looking a little different, not very special. But then you get to a place like the prime, the, the, the prime plane of existence, and you suddenly stand out. And you realize, well, it's, it's freak of nature might not be the right term, but I mean. <coughs> Quite literally, Possibly a freak of nature, a because z- 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 elemental blood and whatnot, so, yeah. you know. Um, there's not many... Ganassi in general are not a common sight, but... Air Ganassi... Like I say, I've, over the years, created many offspring, and only one has turned out to be Ganassi like yourself. Um, happen often. No. Oh. Well, Sai said he'd only ever met one Agnasi being me, so. There you go. I figured. Yeah, I understand that this could be much. Obviously. Uh, there is a way for you to communicate with me now. So if you want to. I don't know. Do this more often. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Take up any more of your time for now. You know how to reach me. Yeah. Thank you. And he kind of just, like, gives you a wave. And do you, do you, just, do you just pop out? Yeah. Okay. Hey! Hey! Hello. Uh, a long talk that I wasn't prepared for, but here we are. <laughs> You're welcome. Brooks is just like holding this vessel so fucking carefully. It's the like whole this time big, you were holding it, it I, the, the whole time you were holding it, I was eyeballing it, and you saw occasionally like a hand twitch, like maybe, and then I was like, nope, and and you just saw me like kind of like school myself, like put hand back down, like no bad, bad dike, <laughs> don't touch. Dude, I feel like you guys are just planning revenge pranks on Dagon. When? <laughs> Genuinely, that, that's that's my guess. When I come out, does the vessel just like it shatters? Disappear? Yeah. It shatters. Oh fuck! Is it your oh. shot? <laughs> well, now I look cool. But okay. Sorry, I didn't I, know I, I was I... gonna do that when I came Did out. We, like, how long were they like in the vessel while for? they were in there? Because if they were in there yeah, for a we while, we might as well just been like, we're already moving. Oh, she's yeah, in there. We'll we're just already go. moving. Yeah, yeah, we're already moving. Shit, oh, like, so we're moving. The horses were there, everything's fine. Just yeah, 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 to be yeah. sure. Yay! Okay. Caramel peppers! So, like, while Kess is in the vessel, well, what we think of our horses. Yeah, Jesus uh, is still here. <laughs> um, Onu is gonna sit aside me at the front of the, uh, at the front of the car. Roughly, how long does it, like, take where we're on that? Like, when Kess goes into the vessel to, like, Kess coming out, was it quite a long time? Was it, like, half oh, well. half? No. It was quite a long time. Well, the entire time, Brooks just looked increasingly nervous. <laughs> when I pop out, where do I pop out? Like on Brooks' lap. Back of the car. It's like I probably like okay. in his lap or something, yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. It this be- is <laughs> unexpected. I just laugh. <laughs> is it a silent laugh, or does Dagon have a, like a vocal laugh? A little wheeze it's, like the dog yeah, in it's, it's um, kind of like, Wacky Races. It, it's almost like you know when cats when cats start to cough up hairballs, that kind of wheezy noise. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's like if it's a loud one, it might be like that. It's usually more of a just like you see kind of like shoulders, like shoulder shaking oh stuff, and there's like very oh. slight noise. <laughs> okay. And then also, I take out my journal scarier. and I start drawing uh, a picture. When the picture will look like. Um, Brooks holding Kess in his lap, but Kess is dressed like a baby, and he's like burping her or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you find, you find know you don't have to stay here. Yeah, I know. 
what do you do there? I was just having a conversation. With? With who? Rismu. Blue. The dragon killer. Rismu's a fair. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fair. Idiotic. Have you met him? I wouldn't. No, really... but he tr tried to kill my property, so. I mean, I he mean, didn't. At this point, I'm just gonna. Okay, he issued an ultimatum through a sleeve. Oh. I mean, the same thing. I don't know if killing a dragon is particularly idiotic. Actually, but, uh... the ultimatum was mine, not his. He just was uncomfortable. Understandably so. Considering well, it's past... done with now. Let's not get upset over it, shall we? Jax is just going to start tinkering Never cracked on eggs. Do you want? Do you want a drink, Jax? Um, when you are about an hour away from Eldilon, mm -hmm. uh, I would like Davian to make a perception check. I'm going to offer Jax a bottle of whiskey. Natural one. Jax will drink the whole Natural bottle. Natural one? Yeah. Full bottle of whiskey. Full for Onu? Full bottle. <laughs> and at some point when I'm done the drawing, I'll show Brooks my drawing. Uh, for Onu, that is a 17. Uh, Onu spots something. There's this like uh, small pyramid built from these loose stones, and on the top of the stone, or on top of the the, the stone pyramid, there's this um, <clears throat> carving on it that just for some reason really just grabs Onu's attention as he just kind of just fucks off, flies towards it. Is it like it's off the road? I guess it's off the road. Yeah. What the fuck? What? How big is it? Like how tall is it? Just like a few feet? Like like, like a it's a small high? like like man made yeah. like just stone pyramid okay. made from loose uh, stones. Like a can. Yeah. 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 I'm fully engrossed in the drawing that Dagon has done and not. I mean, I'll look if I Jack's see. Jack's busy like, drinking a bottle of whiskey. If I like hear like Onu fly off and Davian kind of freak out, I'll look over mm -hmm. and just be like, "What's going on?" Whiskey. I don't know. There's like a can or something by the road, and Onu's just flown off to take a look. It's really fucking Might expensive. be worth having a little... Little see? Oh yeah, I suppose I've got to get my bird back. I mean... <laughs> I'll uh... Slow up the cart and hop Wait, down and take a look. What are, we, what are we doing? We're just quickly looking at something only... Looking at some rocks. Okay. Um, you guys can stay here. You guys have weird interests. Um... um go on, you go, you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, the drawing that Dagon's done. Is it stick figures or is it like a proper scat? It's, it's, um, it's like not stick figures, but it's like a really blocky, cartoony style. So they're like three dimensional, and it's like like Kess just kind of like it's like almost like teddy bear pose. I'm just with like a baby bonnet on and a diaper <laughs> and a little shirt, and then and she's just in your lap, and you have your hands just kind of around her torso like this, like as if you would be like bouncing on your lap, and you're just drawn kind of normal. You're just like a cartoon. You know, dude, with like your tattoos. The only way you really know yeah. it's you is your facial hair and your tattoos are on the cartoon character. I'll hand it back to Zagan and be like, "It's mean, funny, but mean." <laughs> nah, it's fine. <clears throat> you don't. Understand. What's the deal with this fucking can? Does it seem religious in nature? Uh, well, as you get close, uh, the first thing you see is there's a carving on it of a painted dog, an arrow pointing down. Oh. Okay. Someone's dog died. Yeah, Sad. this is uh okay. I will um cast detect magic mm -hmm. just as a precaution. Anything? No. Uh, Do how... I recognize this then as does it seem like a burial site? No. There's a carving of a painted dog and there's an arrow pointing down. How f does does it look f familiar? Like how detailed like is this drawing, or does it just look like any painted dog? Because Onu was a painted dog. Reminds you of, of Onu's painted dog form, yeah. Uh, I want to write in the journal and show Devian. Can Onu become a dog again and smell if there's anything buried there and show it um, to him? I mean, I would have to go through a whole thing, and I can only really do it once a day, and I only. Uh -huh. Well, I turned him into a bird yesterday. Maybe I could do it again, but... In theory, you could, yeah. 
In in theory, I could, but uh, Owen starts just like confusing to me, clacking his beak and just kind of like nodding in a certain direction. In a certain direction. Yeah, like uh, t towards where the arrow is pointing. And as you kind of look to where Owen was trying to grab your attention, you can see an envelope kind of sticking out from under the one of the rocks. In the rocks, okay. Like from under oh. one of the rocks, like the loose Owen gets fan mail. <laughs> Slide out the envelope and. <laughs> Is there anything on the envelope itself, or is it just... Uh, Daigon's name's written on it. Uh, what? This is so weird. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? What? So um, yeah. But they know I'm a I'm cat, right? The they know I'm not a dog. It's, yeah. it's, gonna, fuck, it's gonna fucking say to a Lazarin or something in it as well. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, From in Kent the envelope is a, is a drawing of Rosmu the Fair. Like, what? <laughs> Yeah, two, two, from, lots of love from Brooks's parents. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, his, like his real parents? Yeah, yeah. So all, like, all of, is this? So everyone's parents are like in a support group. This, like, stone carving of a painted dog on like this cairn, arrow pointing down to an envelope under a rock with Daigon's name on it on the envelope. <laughs> oh, very confused. Just pass it and it's Daigon. I mean. I also look very confused. <clears throat> and then I, I look at Kess and I sign, did you do this? No, I swear, I did not. I I, I sign back, I, I believe you, just checking. Um, before I open it, I want to I smell it. Is there anything inside the envelope that smells bad? Make a perception check? Anthrax. <laughs> and <what's that>? <laughs> <laughs> and um, smelling it is the worst thing you could have done. Yeah. I didn't 21. know the UK. Uh, no anthrax. <laughs> but uh, you do recognize the smell that kind of like surrounds oh. this envelope. Okay. It smells of sight. Oh. oh. Oh, okay. I, I'll, I'll sign that to guess to you that it smells like him and I'll open it. Uh, inside it, there is a drawing similar to the one that you made for Sai. Hey. And the drawing is of Sai limply stabbing Malak while Daigon is, uh, is holding her arm on Sai's arm, guiding it towards Malak's chest. And the rest of the group Aww. is under you two, kind of holding you guys up. And on the back That's of the drawing, cute. there's writing in Primordial, which I don't know if you speak. I do not, but I know Kes speaks it. I so will. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to her. I will use Comprehend Languages. It just says oh, you thank don't you speak in it. Primordial. You, oh, don't okay. you speak Primordial because you're I a Ganassi? I do. Oh. Yeah. I thought... I did. Oh, no, but it says... It says she reads, it says she reads thank languages. you in Primordial. Okay. Oh. He says thank you. Did your ma not take you priority? <laughs> that was a weird chain of events. But I, I just, mean... I just like so take it. It was like, oh, can I do this? Oh like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Fuck and it. I just oh. kind of like do the <laughs> like just hold the paper and and look like it's very weird because my face doesn't like do smiling or happy very well because of its natural just fuck you ness. <laughs> but it, it's so there's a weird like weird looking lopsided grin on it and then i'm gonna fold it very carefully and put it in my journal and plan to try and like stick it in there later find some glue or something it's always nice i will to um here if you want it i'm sure it'll come back this way leaving stuff i suppose we could but i mean anyone could pass through yeah, yeah but then you have to also know that he has like a locker and stuff at the at the uh oh, true. Fucking oh the key that oh. name of that guild in oh. Eldalon that is blanking, oh, yeah. that I'm blanking on. Keldalas Hunters or whatever it is? Is that his- Adventurers that his... Guild? Adventurers of Keldalas? Yeah, Keldalas Adventurers, that's the one. Yeah, one. Kel's, right. So if you <clears> wanted <throat> to bring in anything, you could leave stuff for him there. Because they're losers, so. Oh. Well, I mean, I appreciate the gesture. It's a very, a little bit worried. Oh, you know, when you're in our line of work, everything's a little bit, ooh, you know, spiders and you're very paranoid. Well, mentioned spiders. I'm not paranoid. I mean, you are. I, 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 I'm not overly paranoid. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a very suitable level of paranoid. No, you're. That I believe you call vigilant. You're, you're basically on the edges of hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> Elijah, I'm watching your I've, back. I at all times yes, I feel you're, like you're about to have a nervous breakdown. Yeah, and to be honest, you're drawing attention to yourself. <laughs> I yeah. think you and Dagon might be the cause of the next nervous breakdown. To be entirely honest. What me? You, you too. I just do like a, a, a very over the top mock offended, like, who me looking like this? And like, that sounds uh, like a challenge. 
Right, uh, back no, in the it wasn't. cart, everybody. Fucking hell. Well, when you guys get back to the cart, you see Jax there with, like, a quarter of the bottle of whiskey left. Just passed it's out. A, it's back. a big <laughs> bottle. Like, it, you said there's oh, a quarter of it left? Yeah, there's a quarter of it left. And he I'm going to just bag. seal it back up and put it back in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit up front again. All right. Well, about an hour Great. later, you uh, arrive at the gates of Eldilon and you enter the city limits. You're home. As we as we go through whatever is considered home. like the gate, I just sign to guess, guess nobody wins and hold up my hand for a high five. I like high five her and then jump into the back to give her a hug. <laughs> what, what the fuck? fuck is going on? <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Yeah, but you're unconscious. Oh, so you're fast out drunk. <laughs> I know, wait. and I'm gonna beat the shit out of someone. Well, you guys. <laughs> I think I think we're gonna have to wait for Elsinel to tell us who won. Was this some sort of shitty fucking competition? It was a bet. Was it who could piss off the party people. the most? Yes, like, I not I not no. Uh, okay. And I'll I'll write in the journal. Um, we just wanted to see if we could convince you that we were what? still fighting, and if anyone ruined the illusion before Eldalon, they owed the other five gold. Oh. So, that entire fucking conversation we have was just a waste of my fucking time and energy. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I you not know. To apologize. Yeah, I not know, and I write not true, just because I, it, it, I, I was like, there, we're still, we still have, you know, things to work out. But I don't. But I appreciated the apology, and there's this understanding has been made. Is what I write. I also write, and, and, and what I said about technically not having any friends is true, but I said that to her face as well. She knows. I do know. I'm not What's sure it's like I'm, about you two. I have no idea what you're friend, Cass. No, okay. Well. Are you? Oh, that's good. Aren't we all? <laughs> we're your friends, Dagon, right? Like, that's and that's every day. Again, seems, I write, you know. yeah, yeah, we're friends because the whole, my whole thing was she she talked a lot about trust and not understanding not knowing i said well then technically you don't have any friends if you don't trust anyone because trust is a part of friendship so so you trust us then oh i nod friend. yes just hope so because i gave you my never mind <laughs> mm, okay mm. all right well <laughs> here we are stopped by God. entirely so, unrelated uh, but uh at uh, this point i town, guess we're on our way to a stable or something the blue sentinels they know who you are and they're like oh, okay Oh, Hi, I'm entirely back. unrelated, but uh, I'm completely out of healing potions. So, I don't um, go shopping well, later. Well, before we go spend anything, we should probably a find reward. a bounty board to see if there's anything we can do with these gnolls and go I mean, see also, General Kron. Why, why don't you guys... Uh, yeah, you're right. We've got to pick up our reward first. I just wanted to go to the pub, but you're right. Okay. Yeah, oh, sorry, I thought you meant like actual healing potions, not healing... Daddy no, special no, healing potions. Need I need healing potions. <laughs> I would just prefer someone else to get them while I get fucking smashed. But no, we'll go all together. We can, you know, so we know you don't. We don't swindle you for your coin. I would like to see you try. <laughs> Too late. I've. You know what? <laughs> I very much doubt that the fucking cleric of or the holy fucking lady of trade or whatever is gonna try and swindle me. What, what you mean, the cleric me? of literally making money? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> no, he might try and be a prick, but I don't think he's going to outright be dishonest with it. Well, I'm sure if he could, you know, buy his own uh, godly right, devise some special idea that he did a certain amount of work more than you and therefore would be paid more money, and uh, then his conscience would be clear of dividing it unequally and cutting you out. And I'm sure his conscience will remain clear when I murder him in his sleep. Well, it will, his <laughs> conscience will. So no, you try, last run. You would try and murder me in my sleep if I stole from you. Interesting. You sound you like you try from that. Me. You've already stolen from me, and you're still alive. So. That's oh, true. so it's an empty threat. So Lazarin, you know, <laughs> cook, cook the books a little bit. I mean, you guys are all going to be there. I'm not like going in by myself collecting the money because. Right, come on, let's I've go. I've never done that before. Yeah, let's go. Right. We're, we're walking. Uh, um, I'll drive I'm the I'm just going to look at Elijah as we walk in. Stables. Like, go to the stables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. I'll just look at him. <laughs> I'll, I'll just look at Brooks and just go and sort of stare and just have a coin and doing that thing, you know, like through the finger, yeah. like the things of the coin, staring at him. I'll do the same thing. Fuck you. 
<laughs> just because another one on both hands. <laughs> I get a playing card. Makes that a hand check. I'm gonna do a coin in one hand and a playing card in the other. Yeah, both like if I roll the one. Yeah, both of you make a slider hand check. 18. I can't even remember what the fucking number is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like really dark. You lose Five. by the when you can't read the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You like, you, you, you both just kind of like tick, 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 the coin and eventually, Lazarin, you fumble and... Tick, tick, ding, ding. I'm gonna Kaz start doing it. Hand and and grab into a drain. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing it behind my head while turning away from a Lazarin. Just <laughs> an absolute fuck you. Make a slider hatching disadvantage. Me? Yeah. No, me. Oh, also, while uh, Jack is still passed out in the cart, I'm, I'm going to take the page. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm going to take the page that I wrote the whole thing on about the bet, like explaining the bet, and just like mm -hmm. stick it to his chest or stick it over his face. So when he wakes up, he'll just pick up this paper and he'll read it. So he's filled <laughs> in on what happened. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Well, are we, are we leaving we're going to have to drag him out of the cart because we're leaving the cart at the stable. Oh. We're we'll leaving we'll him now. We'll go get him, Caleb. Oh, yeah, no, he'll get, figure it out. No, no, when he gets to the stables, I'll just, I'll just like slap his face like, Jax, 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 wake up, you crazy old man. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Is it electric train today? day? No. <laughs> I hear everyone's using electric now. It's decentralized. <laughs> Back in my day, I bought a pizza you can't for my future, electric. I'm building up now to the I bit. Now I'd be a billionaire. It's part of the blockchain. Yep. <laughs> it's non-functional at this point. Which is oh, literally I really, just I really want a bunch like of blocks on a chain. <laughs> this is like I really want like some shitty fucking warlock pact of the blockchain. Nah. <laughs> Alright, I hop out, I give the stable uh hand however much. Uh I don't know. well it depends on how long we will be here for a staying. while, won't we? A couple um, of days. We're gonna have to go deal with his shit, but at least a couple of days. Yeah, I'll give him th three days. Three days worth. Right, there'll be a gold and five silver. One gold, five silver. Yeah, and that includes uh, like you know keeping the horses fed and yeah, yeah, yeah. giving him giving him a, a brush and a clean and all that stuff. Cool. And then all right, done. The, 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 the tavern emerald. time, right? Oh, we should probably head up to the bounty board first, shouldn't we? Is that near the the? Should we is that near the keeper? Is it at the like uh, hunting you know, hall, board, guild hall? Throughout town. Uh, okay. Uh, there's like every like every like, bigger square, so yeah. one in the trade district, one by the keep. Yeah. Uh, there's there's bounty boards there. Oh well, then yeah. When we get to the one by the keep, we'll see where uh, if there's one about Noel. Mm -hmm. All and, right. Like, where yeah. we have to go. So we head to the keep. All right. Uh, as you get to towards towards the keep, there's like a little square, and there is a bounty board there. If you wanted to give that a, give yeah, that a look, see. Yeah. I'll have a quick little look. Make an investigation check. Can I help him? Sure. Help him. Twenty two. Twenty two. Like kind of like, you have to dig deep, but you, hmm. uh, if you as you lift up some other like posts, you do find hmm. a a a a um a bounty or not a bounty, but like just more like a like a, a warning contract yeah. contract. Oh. Slash warning of like gnolls in the area, um, threats to nearby farms. Uh, will pay five gold per gnoll dealt with. Uh, but this is dated about three weeks ago. Who is it um, by? And this is by Old McDonald. Out of the deep. Opens up DM heroes and randomizes the name. No, 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 no. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, by the adventurers. By... Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Um, Jast Iron Jaw. Who fucks that? I don't know. So J A S T Iron Jaw. While they're looking for that, can I look and see if I have a water poster on there? Hey. Uh, Post is old. Sure, than make you. an investigation check. Yeah, right, it's the first bit they drunk, wrong. but you know, damn, even drunk, I'm good at fucking investigating, dude. Fuck yeah, y'all dude, faded. Lost in the sauce, Charlie, dude. I'm just so faded, bro. Lost in the sauce, dude. Um, seventeen. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, no, but you also know that like your wantedness doesn't really become an issue unless you're on the open sea. That's where. That's true. You know, that's where, that's where the high sea so protectors, their their authority lies. So on the international line. waters. You said you said the the name for the no, old no was Jast Iron Jaw. Is that yeah. what you said? Jast. Jast. Yeah. J A S T. Got it. Got it. No, we'll no idea to, who the man is or one. We'll ask about this man. I guess the keeper probably knows. Yeah, mm, probably. 
Well, let's go in, I suppose. Uh, did yeah, Jax right. read the note I left on his face before he woke up or not? He just like brushed it away. I feel like it probably fell off, so. Oh, okay. It's, probably, it's just flat. sitting in the bottom of the cart or something. Yes, yeah, it's probably just in the cart. <laughs> That'll be fun for him to find later. Yeah. True. Fun for him to figure out as we go. Mm. So as you uh, walk up to the keep, uh, the Blue Sentinels posted there. Uh, kind of like, you know, hail at you and uh, allow mm. you entry. And as you get to, like, the main desk, you can see this, like, uh, shorter, half-elf individual with little, little glasses on his on his face. Uh, there's, like, this, like, you know when people start balding and they start combing, like, the mm. left side of their hair? Come over. over. Oh, come no. over, yeah. It's no. kind, of, kind of like that. Um, and they're kind of looking at you. Oh, uh, good, uh, good afternoon. What's, uh, good what afternoon. Kind of yeah. um, we're here to see General Coron. Right, uh, on, 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 do you have an appointment? What what businesses are you here to discuss? Yes. Uh, we were and sent yes. to investigate the arsonists, and we just right. Just right, tell right, him right. that dickheads he hired her here. And she, Isn't it her? She, Is it her? Is it her? Is it her? Yeah, she. Tell them the dickheads they hired her here, and I'm sure right, I'm sorry for doing my job. I apologize. So I'll, I'll go. I'll Ignore go him. And, He's uh, very grumpy at all times. I'll go let, I'll go let you know that she's not her. Really he's an idiot. Uh, <laughs> he's not drunk, <laughs> he's grumpy. Mm -hmm. Sounds like an issue. Someone drank um, all of his whiskey. And just give he's me very a annoyed. few seconds, I'll be right back. No problem. And he uh, yeah, hops off his chair and walks up the stairs to the back office. <clears throat> and uh, from the top of the stairs, kind of just like calls down to you. It's okay, you can you can come up. All right, Don't cheers. Stop up. So tempted. I got. Oh, and he's just like. Along behind on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jax is in very drunken stumble mode. I will help Jax up the stairs. That's kind of scary. Like a, a guy that's that big in like yeah. and old plated armor, just like stumbling, on. like he, you know, <laughs> well, he, he not, leans on you, and I'm now, just gonna like. I definitely deactivate the armor for traveling because okay, because right. it's uncomfortable. I'll I'll yeah. help him. You know, yeah, He's, I'll be up. The I'm a strong first. boy. Uh, and as you approach the office, the door is already open, and you can see General Cron uh, sitting behind a desk, um, not wearing her like white, uh, her, her like white and blue <laughs> plate mail, but instead wearing a more like comfortable, like like cloth tunic, um, casual attire. Yeah, and she seems to be doing uh, some kind of like like paperwork kind of behind her desk, writing writing stuff down. And as, uh, as you all enter, <laughs> get the door, please. Yep. Um. I'll just walk forward. I'll, I'll put wood Most. in all. Right. We've returned. Mm. Where did it go? When... I'm dead. I got well. stabbed. Yes, I um, already um, spoke to Sai. He uh, returned to town a little before you did. Uh, actually, no, he didn't because y'all did the fucking map trick. So you technically will have arrived around his... the same time. Never mind. How is his drawing there for me? No, because like he left earlier, but because you you. Uh, oh, but then we caught up. We caught, you caught up basically. So yeah. you, you you were about equal. So he wouldn't have had time to also go to on just yet. I see. I see. I see. Um, mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna pass it. Oh, yeah. Right. Huh. It's, uh, it's good. Um, it's good that I got that. To, uh, I haven't had word yet from from my captain there or anyone. So feel free to fill me in with as much detail as possible. I mean, the magic shop tethering is um. Burned down, not by us. They burned it down as to get rid of the straw evidence. Mm. Um, we've dealt with Fear Krog. Um, dead. Yes, unfor unfortunately, had to kill him. He was um, in a pact with a demon? Shadow of demon? Devil, yeah. Of shadow, shadow demon, demon yeah. Some description, yes. Or Malek. But the shadow demon we <laughs> couldn't fully deal with, as it you know, means going to his home to destroy him fully. Wait, Side so plans does to that continue mean with that? that thing can come back? In theory, but I think it has quite a personal vendetta with Sai. And I'm sure, you know, there's any number of places and planes they might come back to, so what are the odds that it really bothers us again? I suppose so. I mean... how, good, how good was Sai's drawing, like the Malik part of the drawing? I mean, was yeah, it pretty, more pretty, like artistic like license enough. or pretty realistic? Yeah, de like detailed enough, yeah. Right, I'll I'll show her the drawing, General Kron, so he gets an idea what Malik, and I'll point to the demon in it. <laughs> And there's looks, us. Looks particularly nasty, but uh Alright, so Arson is dealt with. 
you know, packed with the demon aside, we'll, we'll take that, you know, if it comes up again in the future, bites us in the arse, well, at least we'll know about it, but <laughs> no point in spending resources or time researching that. Probably yeah, unfortunately means that miserable town is down one establishment worth visiting, so... So, um, Probably not uh, any uh, other reasons else? to go there now. Any, 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 anything else that you know? Oh, uh, we killed some gnolls on the road. Uh, ah, did you? I thought we apparently got a man called or a person called Jast Iron Jaw had a bounty out for them. So yeah, if you have does. any, uh, he did. any idea where they're at? We, I thought we took care of it, but I suppose we, we missed the den. I suppose. Um, yeah, Jast is uh, is an orc hard worker. He works at the um, the crafters district. He. Uh, well, he's, you know, heavy lifter. Used to be uh, pretty, pretty, very strong bodied, so he just does a lot of heavy lifting down there. Uh, I'm sure you'll be able to find him there, or he lives in the uh, residential district close to. I think it's around the corner from Friendly Giants, actually, now I think about it. So. No, yeah, right. He's in that area of town, so. Yeah, if you want to see if he still means to pay for that. Obviously, we thought we dealt with them all, but. Uh, <gasps> no harm in trying, I suppose. Doggy. Oh, I couldn't even tell you how many there were in particular, but there were four particularly nasty ones with flails and yeah, yeah good, 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 triple headed flail. Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've encountered a couple but of them. I hold up ten more fingers, uh, also because there were the ten. Ten of them. Ten little ones. Ten, ten small, ten ones. small ones, four big ones. Fourteen. Felled a tree to sort of ambush traffic mm -hmm. on the road, but we dealt with them. Two for a bunch of dog-headed beings it can be quite quite crafty, I suppose. Well, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, well, I'd suggest you just take it up to Jast in that case, and who knows, maybe you'll be able to to pay you for a job well done. Right, perfect. Okay. Um, uh, other than that, payment goes here, I promise you 100 gold each for a job well done, and it seems that a threat has been taken care of, so and she like opens a drawer, and you can see, kind of like peering over her desk, you can see that there's just like, there's a a large amount Fuck of just money just like sitting there. Uh, and and like, she, I, I give a glance to Kess. <laughs> and she uh, just hands out 10 platinum pieces to uh, to each of you. Platinum? 10. To equal 100 gold. <laughs> you did so bastard. Well, I mean, that's more convenient than 100 coins. Like, yeah, Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, yeah, but I mean I got... ten, 10 is divided by 4, unfortunately, and I have 4 <laughs> pockets. Well, that's fucking deal with it, sir. Does that mean I get a thousand Electrum? <laughs> no, you get 10 Platinum. <laughs> that's not how Electrum like. works. It doesn't divide that way, yeah. Yeah, because Electrum sucks, why people that's... hate it, because it divides. That's why I made... Oh. So, uh, anything else, any other details, things you found that uh, are worth, you know, letting us know about? Um... Hmm furiously scrolls through notes. Hold on! Yeah, sorry, we've been on the road a little while. <laughs> they were experimenting sure. on Dragonborn. They were indeed. They were trying to get the gland that breathes fire um, and put it into other beings, I'm assuming. Well, Fearcrock had a few of them. Yeah. Him, right? Oh, and I hold up a piece of the red dragon eggshell that I had oh, in my bag. Oh, and they a lot of red dragons. Yeah, there yeah. were lots of red dragon eggs. I suppose those were all, I'm assuming they were all dealt with? Yeah. Yeah. That we could find, yeah, definitely. Um, there was also a chest that would teleport you to the abyss. Oh yeah, we have warned oh. them about it. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Any prisoners or anything? No. Uh, Dra there Dragonborn. Was one guy. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Unfortunately, you know, he was. Well, one of them was dead, and the other one was lined up to have his his breath gland removed. But he, we thankfully got him out before that. Was he, um, of, you have a name? Someone Argon. Can... Yeah. Right. What was that? Argon. Argon. Yeah. Alright. So the, we can the... pull up, ask, ask the man some questions. Um... The deceased one was called, uh, Darvin. Yeah, that was one who was dead. You... If that's what someone you, you know. What are you doing? Do you find many dead people down there? I'm not... Yeah. Actually, yes. A nod, yes. There were yes. there are many other dead clerics. clerics. There were yeah. there were clerics of um. um I, I hold up my fingers Aros, like antlers. Yeah. Of Aros. yeah, there were clerics of Aros, Aros down there. Yes, that's quite odd. strange. Yes, which is odd for Streatham, especially because well, you know waste I cultural wasteland. Really, suppose that answers the question of where that. Oh no, I can explain that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um. My with you, with did clerics go missing from the city? Well, I suppose technically, yes. The, um, they, they, there were clerics en route to uh, Fort Dallington. It's on the uh, the western border of of, of Kaldar, bordering uh, the province of Python. The fort has been uh, dealing with some shenanigans. Uh, they claim to be haunted, uh, and they requested some clerics to take a look at things. So I suppose, yeah, they travelled through Streatham and never made it to the fort. That there was also a sense. sarcophagus with um, a guy wrapped in linens and rubies on his eyes. Don't know if that is significant, but that was there. No, oh, it seems like it's a rich fuck that wanted to be buried with gems. Yeah, but those clerics, um, yeah, we've got word that clerics went missing because they never arrived at Fort Dallington, but at least now we know what happened to them. Unfortunate. I think that's oh. about the ground. Yeah, somewhere. that's about it. Yeah. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah. The owner of the store was in cahoots. Uh, they they, they love dragons. I'll tell you that much. They had um, killed the owner of the sword. That is, yeah, killed, yeah. Bitch. killed, killed. In the same same battle, I suppose no, that we've, we've, we've dealt with. I, I, I read the letter this morning about a large shipment of magical artifacts and trinkets being being shipped our way. So I suppose that's yeah. That explains that then. Everything that could be salvaged. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll make sure to. Uh, Get that, you know, in our shops and stuff, and at least, or ship it over to other towns, cities along along the province. All right. Well, thank you very much once again for doing the empire and province service. You're welcome. Appreciate it. So, um, I don't really have anything directly for you. So, what's what's next oh. for you? Oh, I I signed a kiss. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. Ask her. A ask her what of this list which one she thinks best suits us and I hold up oh, the journal God. entry for her to read that has the list of names that we generated what's next for us to, uh, so just um, a reminder the names on here that Kron can projects. read um, <sighs> our um, elf group elf in capital letters ELF saviors of Streatham cult crushers Terrible. Bread, no, no, and then that one has a line crossed out, so it doesn't matter. Um, Delving Dungeoneers, the Snuff Squad, Endbringers, Fools Errands, the Seekers, Allies in Arms, the Discarded Blades, slash Reforged Blades, and then in different handwriting from mine, there's the Hardy Unidentified Musical Asinine Night Stalkers. That's right. Is there just also kind of the like gently close the the time? Time? Oh! Oh, and okay, there's one more. Also, there's ragtag fuckwits at the end as well. <laughs> Party <laughs> like, it's like, like in the middle somewhere. That, that yeah, I'll put it. Do you want me to put it in the in the chat, in in the uh, in the dungeons like like Discord chat for I you? Can, okay. Quickly, oh, yeah, I can. I have my phone. My phone's it's on World phone. Anvil as well. Put it in the actual. <laughs> as well. Uh, Snuff Squad. Oh, she's gonna pick. <laughs> We're not going to be called the SS, all right? That's I'm a, just that's Dude, we are the SS. Yeah. I love the sound Same. of Snuff Squad, but I hate when it gets short. So I hate like, the yes. sound of Snuff Squad. I, don't... Um, um, yes, I, I love the sound. I think I'm, I'm fond of... I don't really understand Elf Group, but... You're going to say Elf Group, I should have fucking gone. Erin's is quite clever, I suppose. Oh, you're all, you know, I'm... It's quite clever. We are, we are what? It's got a blade. a bit pretentious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The Seekers is quite good. Seekers. I quite like the Seekers. Uh, yeah, but what are you seeking? Exactly. Adventure. Oh. <laughs> I, I... Different I, I think, for, you know, you got it. Oh, I you guys to strike me as a words. group of people that, you know, are a bit foolish sometimes, if I have to <laughs> believe word that, that goes around. But you get the job done, so, you know, fool's errand. But... Not I mean, foolish but capable, you know. Yeah, it, it's, exactly. it's Dagon showing this list to everyone. I, I mean, I showed it to the group already before, but yeah, yeah it's already seen all this. I just yeah, put it on I, her I desk. don't think Brooks has seen ragtag Falkwits written on the bottom. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's newly added to the bottom. I'm updating the post right now. But <laughs> I mean, we, you know, I don't know if I like that one. <laughs> well, I suggest we don't uh, really want to be tied to the word fool in any way, generally, just for the sake of. So, well, the Branding. thing is with, with names for groups like yourselves, right? It's um, 
I'll get a lot of mercenary groups instead. Oh, yeah, we're going to do something longer term. And, and I feel like typically when it comes to naming those things, when it happens, it happens. One day you'll find something that just clicks with all of you and feels right, you know? Yeah, Kaz just kind of slowly picks up the book and closes it and passes it to Daigon and is like, thank you, I'm sorry. We'll no, go. we'll be we'll be in Eldon for a few days. We've got some rest. We, you know, it's in a time time. We've got some rest and yeah, of course some other. This is the yeah, friendly no. giant. And we're we're, we're if, going uh, for a drink. See if we our friend Jack Steinjor comes through at any point. Yes. So all right. Well, um, if you need yeah, us, yeah. we'll probably be in the friendly yeah, giant. If, uh, if anything comes up, um... oh, or if you way. just want um, to have a drink. That that that. What's that last call? Uh -oh. The Yuan tea that you brought in. What's oh, Siren. Siren. Right. Siren. Uh, she was asking uh, for, to let you know whenever you lot came back into town that she would like to meet up and catch up and whatnot. So okay. So okay. Siren, or... so we'll find her either at the temple or I think she um, she had a room in the temple for a little bit, but she didn't like it. So I think she somehow convinced the father there to book her a room in the Friendly Giant indefinitely. So she'll be... She'll be around there. She has interesting taste. <laughs> Sounds like Siren. Anyway. Sounds like Rice. Uh, right. Um, well, Corona uh, might as well ask while we're here. Do you know anything about the Triton people who live in the lake? Have we had any contact with in them? Lake Udina? Yeah. Uh, Are they horrible? No. Nah. Do they kill... Well, we don't really do uh, much business with them because it's that far in the jungle, but um, we've had people, uh, you know, adventurers like yourselves, uh, that make trips there and back and live to tell the tale and uh, spoke of them quite highly, to be honest. Uh, very in touch with nature, very protective yeah, of their territory, but uh, Fuck. not bad people <laughs> by any means. Why? Well, we've got to go there and we've got to get something from them that they won't want to give us. Okay, well, let me give you some advice then. Um, Don't try talking your way out of that one or into that one, because from what I've heard, that is, is the pretty reasonable people. But what if the entire purpose of their existence mm -hmm. is to protect the thing that I want to take from them? I'm sure we can. I can see how that is a little more difficult, but. We still have research to do. That, um, how do I say this? Things change. It's been a while since we've had contact or been heard anything while. about them. So maybe. So they might be horrible now. Or maybe they're no longer That's... as protective over the. I. Why don't that would be we... good. Why don't that would we be figure nice. it out when we get there? Oh, yeah. no, we'll, well, we have a lot of research. There's some books. Uh, Snap will have some books on, on those people. I know that uh, there's one drunk. title that I can give you that I recommend. I read it myself. It's a pretty good read. Um, it is called uh, The Triton of the Lake. It's written by Sir Oliver, uh, a knight hailing from the Goodwind Kingdom, uh, who, after his retirement, took it Do upon himself to travel Sir Sir a bit. And he wrote about his journeys. And one of... The, ex the things he wrote about was his experiences with the Triton of Lake Udina and what he learned there. So, the Triton do, I, the do, do I know of this, Sir Oliver? Uh, make a history check. Oh, dirty twenty. Uh, you know that Sir Oliver was among uh, among the first to make the trip to the new uh, to the new world, uh, and he very bright and and successful military career. When word of this new uh, land came up, he decided to retire his military career and travel and just document his findings. And he ended up writing some books about it. All right. I wonder if he's still around. Uh, yeah, me too. Well, he probably is. we have some rest to have. Thank you very much for your uh, for your time. No worries, thank you for your service. No, and uh, no if anything problem. comes up or anything, um, yes. I, I get a get a case across my desk that I feel like might fit you. Then uh, I'll be sure to reach out. Sounds sounds promising. Take it easy. Yeah, you too. And I'll start to leave. Enjoy thank you again. Off. Take care. Yeah, you've earned it. Yeah, we'll be here <laughs> for a few days. So.
R&R like, and all that. All right. At this point, trying to chaperone everyone out the door. <laughs> Kes is already, like, skipping move, ahead. Move, 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 move. <laughs> Jax is just plopped up on Brooks. Since Kess walked ahead, I'm just gonna sign the guess. You really think they're that bad? And like, show, like, gesturing to the list of names in the journal. Yes, yes. <laughs> you look sad. Just like hang head in shame. <laughs> you got journal. mad at me last time I lied. I thought I'd be true. <laughs> I know. I said no. I appreciate the honesty. Okay, like, good. Don't worry. I just, <laughs> just, just. Still just happening. It's progress. Yeah. It's progress. <laughs> right. Did you learn, Bob? So, we oh. could be the Electromonters. Oh, God, no. Go back to sleep. I don't want anything to You're do okay. with that currency. Jesus Christ. The Electro Bros. Yeah, <laughs> you see, You see a legend like... <laughs> can we please get somewhere where I can be the drink and not deal with this? The blockchain. Stop, stop. Go back to sleep. Oh. And we're going to carry a last... Uh, um, Both, to beer, the and giant. beyond. Going to the Friendly Giants, all of you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Uh, as you enter the friendly giant, it's about it's it's like early afternoon right now. Um, enter the uh, friendly giants. All the usual suspects are there. Um, you immediately just like the entire the entirety of the pub just just yells. Uh, Electro like, Bros. Like, like, like enjoy kind of like to, to see you <laughs> all again. Uh, you, you've left quite a good impression with them last time you were here. And That's obviously, Brooks, I, they, I do. Obviously Brooks. I do like a, a flinch when they get, like seem excited because I'm just um, not used to like oh. <laughs> Dagger like pulls Brooks, a spear. You know, <laughs> they, they're more familiar with you and Jackson with anyone else of the group, but uh, you know, pleasure walks over to uh, to to a Lazar and it gives him a little gives him a little wink, and you get greeted pretty pretty heartily. All right, guys, how nice. are we all doing? Um, get get us a table and some drinks. First. I have to piss. Let Let's get. Okay, go go piss. Fuck fuck him. <laughs> uh, Everyone else can sort their own fucking rooms because I don't know if half of us know what we're doing for the night. <laughs> let's put. All right. Let's just first thing first, single room for Jax. Single room for Jax. All right. And he, he... can come down when he yeah. sobers up. I'm sure he'll join us to what's yeah, the tale of the night. Looks like he's uh, gotten quite a head start of you. Of, uh, over yeah, three quarters you. of a bottle of whiskey that I bought from uh, Rikido. Oh, you bought oh, that? Oh, the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna regret that in the morning, the, or the, the not evening, cheap shit, depending on when he wakes up. All right. Well, it's it's good to see you lot again. It's been a while. It's been a, it's been a while indeed. We've been killing things. We have killed many things. As you many do. Many things. You know, you so, how much uh, is it gonna run me a room for Jack's? I killed his whiskey. Um. Well. <laughs> uh. Funny that. I uh. She's not in right now, but Sirin um told me to tell you lot that uh, she expects you to return here, which hey, she was correct, so there she, there she go. And she said um, that, that that whatever tab you open, she'll take care of. Oh. It's a very Good generous day. offer, and I'm really fucking tempted to take it, but I also know how much we drink, and then we probably earn more than she does. I mean, she works in a temple, doesn't she? And she doesn't work in a temple, she works oh. as a diplomat. Between uh, two yeah, nations. Like, fuck it, we'll find out she when we speak to her, and if we owe her a lot of yeah, money, we owe her a lot of money. She uh, gets done with her duties at the temple about like, late afternoon, so in a few hours she'll play. I'm gonna uh, put Jax way. up in his room. <laughs> I'm gonna carry him up. I'm gonna Poor put Jax. his bag at the foot of the bed. I'm gonna take his stupid hat off and put it <laughs> next so to in meantime, him in the bed. Cav, uh, the, the Goliath owner of the establishment, mm -hmm. will have set you all up at a table with drinks and. Whatever, some of the company, uh, you can see uh, Rianel and Pleasure kind of joined you at your table. It's not very busy just yet, so they kind of just like joined you and have some drinks with you and have a jolly good time. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, Brooks. Yes. <clears throat> as you kind of like walk downstairs from, yes. from putting Jax to bed, mm -hmm. you get a, you kind of like someone comes up the stairs and we kind of meet you halfway. You look for a second, and then you recognize this man. Go on. It's the guy you decked in the face <laughs> at, the, at the muddy boat. And he looks you up and down. Still feel that, you know? I can kiss it better if you'd like. Uh, no, but I have something else that I wanted to, want to ask you now that I see you. You, you know, appreciate a good brawl, as it's mm. quite clear. There's a ship that uh, made anchor in port a couple days ago. It's called mm. the Porcupine. Okay. They um, host this 
Chush. Uh, oh my god, is it a fight you know, club? they call it the scrapyard, which is just it's a fighting yeah, competition. Yes. Right. <laughs> so it's like it's, you know, friendly friendly brawls, there's betting, there's like a little prize pool, there's there's buying. You strike me as a fella that definitely be interested. And I am going to be honest here. I've been recruiting <coughs> to recruit people for them, and for any everyone that signs up that I send their way, I get a commission. So if you use my referral friends, link, I know there's this one guy in your group that like decked that blue man in the fucking mouth. He, uh -huh. he looks like he can put up a fight as well. So if any of you and your friends are interested in a friendly night of just brawling, trying to make some money, porcupine. Uh, and uh, when they ask you, hold on. I've got to remember this fucking. This is a password. Oh. When they ask you uh, what your business is at the Porcupine, um, tell them that you're there to scrub the floors. All right. Uh... Yeah, there's a bit of a tournament going on tonight, what so uh, it's of... about about seven eight o'clock is when they start. So if if you're interested, sort of, uh, sort of rules are there. Weapons, uh, no, no weapons. It's just you know fist fighting, no killing, no nonsense. If the if your opponent taps out, respect that. That sort of thing. Very 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 classic. Oh, I wanna, really. I want to see Dagon um, fucking how much, uh, scrub the floors. How I much, believe it's how a ten much, how much buy in per per. And how much commission do you get? How much commission? Uh, for every buy in that I deliver, I'll get a two gold. Cool. I'll 20%. Slip him. I will. I will slip him Damn. two gold. Thank you very much. You'll get a commission on me as well, but uh, Damn. we'll see what happens. Yeah, so, you know, if any of your friends want to fight, uh, I think it's a 10 gold buy-in for a fighter and uh, a 5 gold prize if you just want to spectate. Obviously, there's a lot of gambling and betting going on amongst the crowd, and um, they have, it seems like a pretty good pretty good time. So, uh, you know, uh, well, if you've got I, time and, and are looking for a bit of a brawl. Should you just let me know or... Uh... Yeah, no worries. Are, are, are you off now doing this to some other schmuck, or are you... Yeah, pretty much. Alright, well, buy yourself a drink on me, and I'll see you there. Sounds good. And he, cool, uh, and I will go sit down jump. at the table. Uh, I will kiss both Pleasure and Raynell on the cheek as I walk past. <laughs> I'll sit wherever there's a free space. Okay, so uh, we may have gotten an invite somewhere tonight. Oh, yeah. Somewhere fun or somewhere bad? Somewhere that might not be entirely legal, so... Ooh, sounds somewhere fun. I won't be offended if you sit this one out, Dagon, but it also might be right up your alley. Oh, no. Oh. Conflict. <laughs> oh, no. What makes... I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean in and sort of, like, usher the others in. Yes. There's a there's a boat in Harbour that is running a sort of off-the-books fight club. Oh, yeah. It's it's ten gold to go in. There's a prize. It's five gold to spectate, and I'm pretty fucking up for it. It's I want to no, go. No weapons. Go see no magic. Just straight up beating the shit out of people. <laughs> Would it be illegal if we were out at sea? I don't think it's going to be out at sea. But what if I don't it think was, I'd be though? comfortable getting on someone else's boat and going out to sea. But yeah, or just a short trip out. Uh, just. Obviously, don't be stupid. Don't tell anyone. But I'm not. I'm up for going. I want to go. I'm. I'm gonna sign to Kess. Like this. There's. There's no way you and Brooks don't go to this. Right. Obviously, I'm going. Okay. Then I'll sign back. Well, then. I mean, I have to go to make sure you guys are safe. <laughs> yeah, Who are you but, more but concerned about? Laura me trying or to like. That's a slippery slope. Like, a reason for <laughs> Dagon to go. Yeah, basically. I mean, like, it's like, you... oh, if I get caught, bad things, can't do things that are illegal. But I also, like, legitimately, I'm like, y'all could get fucked up. So the I only, need to the make only sure people don't is, get is fucked up. Whatever helps you sleep we've, 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 had had helps. Of, <laughs> we've had a bit of a of an interesting day, and I'm uh, not going to be at my full capacity for this. Well, uh, yeah. And rest off a little bit. When does it start? I, yeah, we can have a little bit of a rest and cruising. We it's, get key uh, points like back seven, on short rests, like don't we? Seven to eight. Yeah, but I don't get rage at that. Ha! Sucks to be you. Oh, you really want to rage at <laughs> oh, a fucking? Only because I beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 you guys can have fun there. I'm. It's not my scene. Uh, no, but you'll, oh, be time, you'll, right. you'll be spending time with Siren, so. Yeah, that's true. I mean, no, but. Yeah. I signed. Well, now we also all have to go, except to Lazarus, so he can have a date. 
True. I mean, they said she's no. staying here, so the chance that she walks through the door in the next half hour is pretty high. Elijah. Dagon says we all. You're have saying to go she won't be in your lap Alaskan within an hour. And Siren privacy. I do not I need. Pri I do not need privacy with Siren. <laughs> I I did not know to that. No one oh, needs privacy with anyone. Kind of Siren like might. Yes. I didn't know you were into that. Are you sure about that? Oh, I am hey. quite positive. <laughs> oh, pleasure. Mm, did you get some gossip out like of this? She's she's been asking about you a lot. Uh, you're such a fucking troublemaker. Oh. What can I? What can I say? I make an impression on people. Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, if Sirens learned anything, you know, being being among sort of the city girls, you know, you will be in for a treat. I, Why does that sound maybe so maybe pleasures taught us some techniques. I don't know. The, 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 this side of life and uh, how to have a little fun, you know. Showing so, the double decker fun, hob <laughs> noblin <laughs> goblin. <laughs> Double decker, pecker record, whatever. Double decker, pecker record, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she um, what? Say, you know, got, uh, you know, gotten, gotten to know each other a little bit, and uh, uh, Azrin, she seems pretty fond of you. Uh, well. Smitten, one might even say. That's what we've been saying, but he won't listen yeah. to us. He doesn't. He doesn't need privacy, but she might. So. Mm, true. You guys are literally the worst. <laughs> and yet you love us dearly. I won't get that far. I'm up with you. Well, yeah, for, you that, check. <laughs> for that heinous accusation, you can buy me a drink. I just kind of wave over and like, one more. <laughs> um, it's not too I'm late. Not, I'm not the one buying yet. for it. I'm not, <laughs> Siren's buying for it. Does anyone have anything stupid they want to do between now? And, and well, just, you might consider it rest. stupid, but... I need to. I need to go. I I need to start researching this shit as soon as I possibly can. So um, save for the tonight. morning, Debian. Be better to rest on a to read on a research on a clearer Short head. Rest, baby. I, uh, there was something I, I actually can... wanted hmm? to ask you before you rub off. <laughs> Just stare blankly at me and wash your hands. Okay, what? that's not. Um, that what? Oh, well, you didn't even ask. I'm wait. I'm waiting with bated breath. Bro. You know what? I was waiting for you to say maybe no, I'm too busy, or yeah, sure, go ahead, but whatever. Uh, next time we're out camping, will you do me a favor and just have a look around, see if you can find anything edible or scented? Anything edible or scented? Lavender, rose, berries, fruits, that sort of shit. Fuck shit. Yeah, I can, yeah. The I think. sort of thing that you would find that I wouldn't, or the sort of thing that we, I would find and not know that's going to kill me. Yeah, I can do that, yeah. Any oh. reason why? He wants to make a pose. I want to make weird shit out of it. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, sounds fine. And for the services for that, I will buy you a drink. Gooseberry Shall vodka. We, um, say, mm -hmm. for the purposes of uh, time uh, and yeah, Laura's dinner go. getting cold, uh, is that yeah. you short rest at the Friendly Giant, and we'll just pick yeah. this up next week, still at the Friendly Giant, yeah. so you can do whatever okay. it is you want to do with your afternoon and or evening yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. But, um, we did it! We're back! We did it, we're back! Woo! We're back, baby! We're back! It's Ash, it's Ash. I, I fucking love getting back into the swing of things, it was awesome. Felt so, good. um... It was so much fun! Thank you all so much for watching, everybody, appreciate it. Uh, Divinity tomorrow? Yes, Hell sir! Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm not even working tomorrow, fuck yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Gamers. So yeah, we'll be live again Ooh. tomorrow with Divinity. Um, for Discourse on Thursday. It's gotta be Belle, right? I've yeah, been looking, be. and I definitely want Belle, if possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I am around here. Yeah. Cool. You could have Belle and Laura for... Um... Have me and Belle again. Can't. I refuse to always just be guessing <laughs> with Belle. <laughs> Laura, are you available on Thursday or no? I think so. I should be. Ladies oh, night. Yeah. Ladies night. Ladies night for this course. Yeah, good calls. Cool. We'll do that. Awesome. All right. All right. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, Thanks for being here. Much appreciated. Thanks for all the subs and all that stuff. You guys are awesome. We'll be here tomorrow for Divinity. Woo. We'll be here on Thursday for this course, and we'll be here next Sunday for session twenty. Woo! -hoo. Take care, everybody. Woo -hoo. Hell yeah. Have a good night, yeah. and uh, catch you next time. Peace out. Bye, guys. Bye-bye now. Bye. 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 Bye